can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 1, personal interspatial, space part 1, mother, I'm so hungry. In the single apartment, Lin Ching, he opened her eyes on her bed and was in a daze. After a while, she sighed, frankly. She grabbed the phone at the bedside and checked the time. It was only 5.30 in the morning, and it was May in the lunar calendar. The sky outside was already bright at this time. Lin Ching, he put down her phone silently, and then a magical scene happened. Out of nowhere, a glass of water in her hands. Lin Ching, he observed this cup of hot water, which was still steaming. It was just like when she put it in last night. Taking in the phenomenon within her eyes, Lin Ching had no longer hesitated, she got up to wash up. She was just an ordinary office worker and did it pretty well. She is currently the sales department manager. Although she was ordinary, what happened to her recently was not ordinary. As she brushed her teeth and saw her dark circles in the mirror, Lin Ching, he shook her head again and sighed. Although her heart was in a mess, she did not forget to put on her makeup. No one would believe her if she talked about it. For three consecutive nights, the dream she had contained a child who grabbed her, called her mother and asked for something to eat. The dream felt so real, it nearly scared her witless. At first, she thought she was too tired as she had recently worked overtime, so she didn't care. But the second night, she had the exact same dream. Along with this dream, an interspatial space of about 10 square meters appeared in her body. It was about the same size as her single apartment. This scared her. But probably because she had the habit of reading novels, her ability to accept was relatively strong. Of course, this is also related to her strong tenacity. In short, she accepted quickly. The interspatial space on her body is in the palm of her hand. With just a thought, she can see it. The space was like a storage box. Last night, she put a cup of hot water into it as an experiment and it was exactly the same when she took it out in the morning. The temperature didn't change at all. This is enough to prove that the space was unchanging. The condition it was in when placed inside, is the condition it'll be when taken out. And just now, the child was in her dream again, calling her mother and saying he was hungry. And then she was awakened. But this time, she finally didn't hesitate anymore. The strong uneasiness in her heart made her have an intuition that something strange would happen, so she had to make some preparations. Because she saw in the dream that the place was extremely poor, she wondered whether if it was in the apocalyptic years. The supplies and food were very scarce. The faces she saw were very vague, but without exception, their bodies were all skinny and faces were sickly yellow. Although her childhood days weren't easy. But compared to the environment seen in the dream, her life growing up under the five-star, red flag, basically Chinese flag, in the early days of her form, food and clothing was not a problem. It is impossible to imagine that, the dream, kind of living environment. Her novel was not read in vain, and now she had an additional interspatial space on her. She believes that if she didn't do anything else, then maybe by chance transmigrated to the apocalyptic era, she will starve to death. Soon Lin Qing, he finished washing and sorting herself. She took out a pen and paper and began to count the supplies to be purchased. The basic seven, firewood, rice, oil, salt, soy, vinegar, tea, had to be prepared with the exception of firewood and tea. Among them, rice and oil are the top priority. Lin Qing, he replaced the firewood and tea with brown sugar and rock sugar. White sugar isn't necessary. Rock sugar was enough to replace it. Eggs were added to the notebook. In the dream place, something like eggs is definitely an asset currency. In addition to the eggs, there was meat. No matter what kind of meat, she had to get some anyway. And also medicines, for emergencies, colds, fevers, bloating and diarrhea are all necessary. And needed to buy some oil slash menthol balm for all kinds of aches. One box of these things was sufficient and will not occupy much space. After writing these, Lin Qing, he felt that the food supplies were almost enough. 
then she started to write the rest. She didn't know if it was cold there or not, but warm quilts had to be prepared. The mattresses had to be prepared as well. All of it needed to be gray and not colorful, because she saw in the dream, the place is gray and white. There was no color at all. Thinking of this, she blew out some heavy exhales, despite her optimistic nature. Afterward, materials began to be added again. There were some personal items of her own. Although the materials were important, she also wanted to leave some private space for herself to buy some female personal items, which were also equally important to her. Few pages are written full of materials. She looked back and forth several times to make sure she didn't have anything left out and then sighed in relief. Then she started counting her savings. After checking a few times, her saving was only 50,000 yuan. For her who had been working as a department manager for just a few years after graduation, this deposit is naturally small. But there was no other way, as her expenses weren't small on most days. Cosmetics are a necessity. Every so often, she goes shopping or eats out with my friends, which one didn't cost money. From the current her, one can't find the shadow of the past. She was an orphan girl abandoned by her parents. She grew up with her grandmother in rural from a young age. When she was a sophomore, her grandmother passed away. From then on she fed herself until she graduated from college to find a job. Although life wasn't easy, she still persisted. Now she was living very well. Originally she wanted to save a down payment, and when the time comes for her to get a house for herself so that got her to save on some expenses and try not to be part of the Moonlight Group. She still had more than 2,000 yuan of loose money on her, plus 50,000 in her card, it's a total of more than 52,000 yuan. Straight out, she rented a minibus online. It was a driver's license she got from the time she studied in college and work. At that time, she wanted to make some money as a chauffeur. Later, I disliked the fact it was little money and lots of trouble, so she dropped it. It was a young man who rented out the minibus. Because he wants to go back to his hometown for a few days, so he planned to rent it out. He originally thought of just giving it go, and didn't expect someone would really rent it. After Lin Qing, he contacted him and heard that urgently need it, he drove it over. It was not too far away and arrived downstairs in around 10 minutes. Lin Qing, he paid the deposit online, so there is no need to pay any more. After trying to drive it, it was very smooth, even if she hadn't driven for a long time. Although the minibus was a bit old, there was only one row of seats behind the seat, and the last row was dismantled to become a minibus that could carry goods. Lin Qing, he was very satisfied. Sending off the vehicle's young owner, who tried to strike a conversation with her, she carried her bag and hit the road. She hadn't had breakfast yet, so better to eat breakfast before you start fighting. This breakfast shop was a ten-minute drive from the apartment where she lives. The journey was short. Lin Qing, he was aware she's a foodie. But she can't come here often because the location wasn't on the way to work. Chapter 2 Personal Interspatial Space Part 2, sure enough, the other business had yet to open, but the breakfast shop here opened at 6.15 a.m. There were already street cleaners buying buns from here and ate while leaving. Auntie, give me one bun and a cup of soy milk. The three you on worth bun. Lin Qing, he said. The aunt of the breakfast shop answered and soon brought it to her. A hot steamed bun with a cup of soy milk. Lin Qing, he came by this store, by chance half a year ago, and came in for breakfast once and found this store. The aunt in this store is local. Her family got three buildings for rental. According to the current house prices, like her single apartment will cost 1,000 a month, without including the utility bills. Cheap ones cost 6 or 700 a month. And three buildings are collecting rent, what does that mean? Even if a family does nothing, there's no worry about food and clothing. But the aunt's family couldn't sit still. The couple opened the breakfast shop with their eldest son and daughter-in-law, and the business was extremely prosperous. Not only was it clean and hygienic, but it was also particularly good. 
Like the Bun Lin Ching, he was eating, just one is enough for her to be full as she got a small stomach. A bun costs 3 yuan, but it contains meat, eggs, and cabbage. It tastes very delicious and had plenty of ingredients. And this bun is why she drove all the way here. When Lin Ching, he still haven't figured it out, she was skeptical. Would transmigrating with an interspatial space really happen to her? After hesitating for two days, she thought it through today, the third day. This decision made her feel a sense of urgency. She was afraid that she would transmigrate to the poor place before she was ready. Then that would mean call heaven, get no answer, call earth, get no inspiration, t slash n, nowhere to turn for help. And she didn't know if there was any place for cooking. This big and delicious bun was really suitable. Auntie, how many buns are there? You're very skilled. It's so fragrant, I want to buy it for my colleagues. Lin Ching, he wiped her mouth with paper and told the aunt. The aunt laughed, there is still more, but if you buy more, I can't make it cheap for you, our profit is not big. Because the business is really good, there are a lot of made in general stores. Before there were construction sites making a large order, but it was the same, no discount on the price. That's because no matter how much was bought, this store's bun can be all sold out. There is no shortage of big clients like Lin Qinghe. Auntie, how much you have, pack it all for me. I drove over here, so I can be put in the back seat. Lin Qinghe said, but you really have to give me a cheaper price, this trip of mine saved your family a lot of effort? The aunt saw that she wasn't joking, said, then I'll see how much there is. She went to take a look and soon came out, I have made a lot today. There are 300, how much do you want? There are only 300? Lin Qing, he couldn't help ask. Oh, little girl is not big in age, your tone is not small. 300 isn't little. At most, three of our buns are enough to make a big fellow full, the aunt said. There are many people in our workplace unit, and they are all big men. Their appetite can't be compared to us. And it tastes this good, one person will have at least two or three. The three hundred are not enough to share. Lin Qing, he said with a smile. Are there that many people in your unit? Aunt froze and looked at her suspiciously. Even if one person gets three, three hundred are enough for one hundred men. Lin Qing, he laughed, just our unit doesn't need so many. Isn't there a unit next door? However, I'll take those three hundred first. Auntie, what do you think it should be pack in? I'll take it to them first, to see if they like it. If they like to eat them, you may have to work hard and do overtime today. Been working overtime for a while, so the workplace order snacks. What kind of workplace are you in? To need a big girl, to come out to handle this? The aunt saw that she wasn't fooling her, so she took out a phone box and spoke. It's a bit like a phone box that contains popsicles when you were a kid. How about using this box, said the aunt. Because construction sites order buns, so the store had these big boxes, specially reserved for packaging buns. Okay. Lin Qing, he saw it looked very clean, nodded, and replied to her last question, this wasn't appointed for me to do. My sister-in-law is responsible for the few units meals, but she has a cold. I have no choice, but to help her out? Auntie, your bun is good, a lot of filling and clean. This is famous in the area, everyone will definitely like it, and my sister-in-law can also rest. Although these words are full of loopholes, under the rendering of Lin Qing, he's colorful rubbish, the aunt didn't care about it that much. First packed up three foam boxes for her, because some had not been steamed yet, so the aunt asked Lin Qing, he to wait for her. Lin Qing, he said that she'll take the three foam boxes first and told the aunt to continue steaming for her and she will take the already steamed ones in the foam box to her workplace first and will return soon. Although there were some loopholes in Lin Qing, he's remarks, it was true she got matters to handle. The payment was cleared in one go, so the aunt didn't doubt anything. Under Lin Qing, he's bargaining, the aunt reduced the price by 20 yuan. Although it's only 20 yuan, Lin Qing, he doesn't mind the saving was small. 
she can't wait to divide one cent into two cents. Twenty yuan is enough for her to refuel. After leaving the breakfast shop, Lin Qing, he parked the car in a quiet, deserted place, and directly put three foam boxes into the space. Then she headed straight to the nearby market. She came to buy eggs. She usually cooks herself and treats herself, so she comes to this market to shop. As soon as Lin Qing, he arrived there, she bought up the free-range egg from a local old aunt. It was because they are familiar and she also knows the old aunt's eggs are the freshest, and basically, none are broken. Speaking of about, there are also free-range eggs sold in supermarkets. Those eggs are also cheaper, but they have to be picked carefully, otherwise, it was easy to buy bad ones. Although the eggs of this old aunt are a bit expensive, Lin Qing, he doesn't mind buying from her. And this transaction, the old aunt also gave her a little discount. It was the old aunt's son who carried them over to the market for her to be sold. Lin Qing, he came over at that time. The old aunt's son hadn't left because he will help the morning rush, otherwise, the old aunt can't handle on her own. So Lin Qing, he asked the young man to load her two baskets of eggs into the vehicle. Two baskets of eggs got loaded in, Lin Qing, he immediately settled the money, including two baskets and carrying pole. Then sent him away. Knowing that the other party would be confused, Lin Qing, he ignored it. Anyway, she gave him enough money. Chapter 3 Personal Interspatial Space Part 3 This kind of basket was relatively large and contains a lot of eggs. She heard the old aunt said that one basket of eggs weighs 45 pounds. A pound of eggs cost her 8 yuans, originally was 8.2. 90 pounds of eggs in two baskets cost her more than 700 yuans because they are all free-range eggs. Even if she got a discount, they are still expensive. Naturally, two baskets of eggs couldn't satisfy Lin Qing He, but it was still okay. She crossed the eggs out of the book. At this time, the aunt from the breakfast shop called. Lin Qing He drove back to the breakfast shop. She gave the aunt a few positive comments. After the praises, she took away three boxes of steamed bun. Although the size of this foam box wasn't large, the volume wasn't small. It can hold almost 50 in one go. 300 big buns were completely packed in six boxes and two trips. However, Lin Qing, he still wanted more big buns, so she straight out booked 500 and planned to come to collect it tomorrow morning. Although the aunt didn't understand the reason behind the action, Lin Qing, he gave a deposit of 1,000 yuan, so she readily agreed and didn't act nosy. She simply asked her to come over at this time, tomorrow morning, to get her buns. At that time, she would have it all packed up with the same foam box and not one less. Lin Qing, he expressed that they're a known brand, she naturally believed nothing will go wrong. Then she drove away, returned to the market again because she had bought eggs here, and what's more two baskets. So this time Lin Qing, he didn't dare to make such a big move. At this time, the market has opened, and soon it became bustling with people. Lin Qing, he got her eyes on the pork. Her luck was pretty good because today's pork was all excellent and from local pigs. It's the type that has no taste and very delicious. Even if she didn't like pork much, if she encounters this pork, she'll buy a little. However, the price was a bit more expensive, but Lin Qing, he didn't care a bit. Originally she wanted to be low-key, but seeing this kind of pork, Lin Qing, he threw it out of mind. At once, she asked for a half side of the rib, pork belly, lean meat, oily fat and the like she wants from the first pork shore. The same situation with the next few pork store. This made the few pork store's bosses puzzled and questioned what's going on. There are three relatives from my mother's family who have a happy event happening today. Initially, they already had it arranged with the pork store there, but suddenly they sold it to others. This is an emergency, ah, uh, so they came to me? He helplessly explained, I won't talk more. Hurry, help me chop up the ribs. Don't need to bother with the pork belly and fat's meat. Just pack them for me.
Although the few pork store owners didn't understand how the other pork store promised and then go back on their word. But there seems to be no other explanation than this. Why else would they suddenly ask for so much pork? Only weddings can use so much pork. So without hesitation, they immediately chopped the ribs and the likes for her. Lin Ching, he settled the bill one store, by one store. Altogether, the ribs weighed 80 pounds or so and one pound was 25 yuan. The ribs cost more than 2,000 yuan. There were also pork belly, lean meat and fatty meat. Because they were already picked out and heard her say that it was for happy events, they were willing to give her leeway. Just buying so much at once, except for giving her back a few yuan's change, the price was not cheap. Lin Qing, he asked them to help carry them to the vehicle and transported all the pork away. She drove the vehicle to a remote place. After Lin Qing, he made sure no one was around, she immediately put the eight bags of ribs and all kinds of meat into the space. Adding up the pork and ribs, it amounted to 5,000. In addition to buying buns and eggs, she now has almost 45,000 yuan left. She cancelled the word meat off the list. With this much ribs and pork, it's enough to eat for a long time. As for other meat, chickens, ducks, fish, etc., forget it, she didn't have much money. She thought it through, even if there's a lot of money, the space only has 10 square meters. It is very limited, can't hold much. She had to prepare some of everything for the just-in-case moments. As for the market, she couldn't go there anymore. She drove to a pretty far large wholesale market in the city. She began to order rice, brand name rice, and 50 full packs of it. Each pack was 20 jean, aka 10 kilograms, of top quality good rice, packed in vacuum. The wholesale manager thought she was going to open a store by herself. As soon as he asked and found she wasn't, he wondered why did she order so much. Lin Qing, he explained that it was ordered by her workplace and was a benefit for everyone. Besides the 50 bags of rice, she also ordered 50 bags of 20 jean flour, also top quality. Because it was a large order, the price was at the wholesale price, so it wasn't expensive. On top of that, there was peanut oil. She bought a certain flour brand one. This brand was very expensive, but it was also very pure. She also uses this brand of peanut oil. A barrel was 5.5 kilograms, equalizing to 11 jean. She looked at the wholesale price. After a moment of hesitation, she got five barrels. Even wholesale price, it was 100 yuan or so per barrel. Five barrels were nearly 600. The wholesale price of one bag of rice was 45 yuan. The retail price was 60 yuan meaning 15 yuan cheaper. But 50 packs of rice also meant more than 2,200 yuan. The price of flour was similar to rice. 50 bags also amounted to 2,000 or so. Adding all these, it's at the boundary of 5,000. Lin Qing, he counted in her head and then appraised the space again. Two baskets of eggs, eight bags of pork, and six foam boxes of ready-to-eat buns were inside. This left five-sevenths of the ten-square space. After putting these rice, flour, and peanut oil, there were still about three-sevenths space left. She asked the wholesale manager to call people to put all the goods in the minibus. But there were too many things, and the minivan couldn't fit at all. Lin Qing, he decided to take half and send it to her workplace first and then came back half an hour later. The wholesale manager said that it was no problem and gave her a receipt. Lin Qing, he left 50 bags of rice and 5 barrels of peanut oil, before leaving. Halfway on the road, she placed the goods inside the space. And crossed out the words oil and rice in the book. As a sales department manager, Lin Qing, he was skilled at making maximum use of one day's time. Halfway on the road, she changed direction and headed directly to the pharmacy next to the urban hospital. She visited this pharmacy once before, and their stock was complete. Just the price was expensive. One trip a few hundred was cut down. But now Lin Qing, he couldn't care about so much. Chapter 4 
personal interspatial space part 4 she got some for cold, fever, bloating, and diarrhea, and other emergency use. She bought 10 boxes of the 666 brand cold capsule. She also bought some other medicines that are very likely to be used, such as the menthol balm jotted in the book. Several of them were particularly expensive, costing her nearly 10,000 yuan, but Lin Qing he didn't mind as they were prepared for just in case. These don't take up much space. Because Lin Qing he bought a lot, she asked the pharmacy to give a paper suitcase to pack it. After putting it on the minibus, Lin Qing, he took out the notebook and crossed out the word, medicine. Then she drove over to the wholesaler, and the wholesale manager called someone to load her remaining 50 bags of flour into the vehicle. If you still need anything, I can prepare it all. As long as you come here, I can ask someone to load it into the vehicle for you. The wholesale manager said politely. Dragon Boat Festival was nearly approaching and he deduced that this must be a big company giving benefits to its employees. When Lin Qing, he heard what he said, on impulse, she took out the notebook and wrote down brown sugar, rock sugar, soy, vinegar, and salt. Then she gave it to the wholesale manager and asked him to prepare it according to the amount above while she sends the flour to the unit first. The wholesale manager expressed that it was no problem. Lin Qing, he drove away and collected the flower into the space halfway on the road. Now there are three-sevenths of space left in the space. She felt that the food supplies are almost enough. She stopped on the main street, took out the notebook and crossed out the words flower. Then she looked at the other things to see if there was anything missing. She would make up for it if she lacked it. She organized the space and checked if she can make more room. Taking out her cell phone and checked that it was nearly half an hour, she drove back. The wholesale manager had brown sugar, rock sugar, soy sauce, vinegar, and salt ready for her. 20 gene of brown sugar, 20 gene of rock sugar, 12 bottles in a box of soy sauce, 15 bottles in a box of vinegar, a large sack with 25 small bags of salt inside, and one small bag contained two genes of refined salt. Someone put it in a vehicle for her, and then Lin Qing, he settled the bill first. I still have something to buy. Lin Qing, he said after the checkout. Miss, what you want to buy, you can tell me, I will take Miss over. The wholesale manager nodded. Lin Qing, he didn't act shy with him, this time she came to buy women's products, aka period stuff. She frankly ordered 10 boxes of supplies and she requested the wholesale manager to call someone to tear off the outer packaging and scattered them into five boxes. Because this saves space. With these five large boxes, plus the brown sugar, white sugar, and stuff before, the two-sevenths of space was left in the end. Although it was a bit excessive, Lin Qing, he felt that the current supplies are not in short supply, but this stuff was really indispensable. Because a lot of materials had been stored in the space, enough to temporarily stabilize the situation in the desperate situation, she did not believe that if she was really to transmigrate, she wouldn't be able to live successfully. So what she had to consider now should be personal issues. Lin Qing, he ignored the perplexed look of the male wholesale manager and asked someone to take it to the minibus. And took it with her. Then she took the yet to recover and first time meeting such bizarre client male wholesale manager with her to continue shopping. Lin Qing, he also bought two large boxes of tissues. Toothbrush, toothpaste, body wash, shampoo, face towel, soap, moisturizer, and so on also can't be forgotten. She even saw old-fashioned double-eared iron pots and old-fashioned casseroles pot in the supermarket. She got two of each. In addition to those, were five sharp old-fashioned cleavers. The male manager automatically attributed this was for her female colleague to take home to use, so there was nothing to ask. Whatever the client wants, he just give it to them, and it's not like he never saw this kind of client. Lin Qing, he glanced at him and said, These things, you have to make it cheaper for me. I bought so much from you. That's for sure, asserted the male manager, with a slight smile. How heavy is this quilt? How is it sold? Lin Qing, he came to the clothing area, T slash N, shouldn't it be homeware, pointed directly at the shelves of quilts, packed in bags. 
This is a good 5 jean quilt. If miss wants to buy it, I'll give miss a discount. The wholesale price for one is only 308. The wholesale manager said. 5 pounds isn't enough. Give me another. No, give me two 7 jean quilts. Lin Ching, he glanced and frankly spoken. The male wholesale manager swiftly arranged two 7 jean quilts, both of which can be used for double beds. Lin Ching, he was satisfied with a glance, because the quilt could leave the inner core and remove the outside. She briefly looked at the mattress and also asked for two wool mattresses, both of which were grayish in color. They looked very old, but the quality was really good and the price was not cheap. The wholesale manager said that it was targeted at middle-aged and elderly people and would she like to change it? Lin Ching, he conveyed no, it's exactly what she wanted. A new batch of fruit arrived in the fruit area today. Would you like to see it, miss? The wholesale manager said politely when it seemed like she was almost done. Lin Ching, he originally wanted to leave, but after he said that, she examined the space. There was currently one seventh space left. It was just enough to keep the ordered big buns, but if it was packed in a bag, she can find a bit of space. And with more than 10,000 savings left, Lin Ching, he came to the fruit area. In the end, she got a box of grapes, a box of yellow pear, pyrus nevelies, and two boxes of apples. T slash N, it's one of these? For me, it's right. When the bill was settled, Lin Ching, he drove away with all the goods. It was one vehicle full. She took all the materials into the space halfway on the road. After solving these problems, Lin Ching, he let out a sigh of relief. Now that these things are gathered, even if there were any accident, she should not have to worry about it for a short time when she went over, right? Ten square meters was only so big. From start to end, so many things were put in, the space in her palm left some room, but not very big. There was only a place reserved for the last 500 white buns. And when the time comes, she'll have to put it in a bag and take it inside. If she uses a foam box, it may not be able to fit it. After being busy outside all day, she grabbed a bun from the space and ate it when hungry, drank mineral water, and passed it as a meal. She reached home when it was 6.30 in the evening. After a long day of exhaustion, her spending was down to the last few thousand yuan after all her spending. However, she didn't plan to spend any more. Don't mention that the space couldn't fit any more, it was for in case the unexpected didn't happen. Then she'll be empty-handed. However, after sweeping in so many things, satisfied Lin Qing, he was tired and paralyzed. She planned to sleep after taking a bath. She didn't know whether these preparations were enough or not, but she had done her best. The only thing she prayed now was to hope that place would not be the apocalypse. She had read a good quantity of popular male apocalypse novel. The male lead got a space without a warning, but apocalypse was too dangerous. Along with the random thoughts, Lin Qing he went to sleep, but she didn't expect that once she sleeps, she would sleep to the sixties. Chapter 5 Three villain sons, mother, I'm hungry. A ragged child carefully pulled her hem and pulled Lin Ching, he, who was familiar with this phrase, from her days. Lin Ching, he looked at the child, who was as thin as a little monkey, with complex eyes, and fell into the silence again. She didn't expect that she would transmigrate like this, and what's more transmigrate into a novel she had read before. It was after she had received the memory of the original body owner that she reacted. Because the deepest impression she got this novel was the three villains in the story, Zhou Kai, Zhou Xian, and Zhou Gui Lai. These three are brothers, the eldest Zhou Kai, the second Zhou Xian, the third Zhou Gui Lai. This, the boys' names, inferred wish for their father, who was on the front line of the organizational unit, T slash N, the army, to be able to return triumphantly early. But the name didn't have any use, their father didn't return triumphantly, but instead retired halfway. This was a fatal blow to the family. The mother of these three villains aka the original owner who was one of the village flower, prettiest girl, only married the villain's father cause she got her own objective. She wanted to be an official wife one day. 
From a young age, she dreamed of flying up a branch and turn into a phoenix. For this purpose, the original owner resolutely married the villain's father and toward the villain's father, who wasn't at home all year round, even if he goes home he had to leave before the seat gets warmed and what's more never say words of love, she tolerated with the little patience she had. But it was also limited to tolerance. Don't think about getting any warmth and tenderness from her. As a village flower, the original owner got a proud heart as she was beautiful from young to big. Only others can coax her. How can she be humbled and be good-naturedly with others? However, because the villain's father sent money back every month punctually, the original owner would pretend to be polite and compliant with him, even when she hadn't taken a liking to him. That's why they got three sons. However, this situation remained until the villain's father retired. The villain's father retired due to injury. But no matter what the reason was, the original body owner's dream of becoming an official wife was broken and in the following month, there wasn't any stable allowance of a dozen yuans. On top of that, the villain's father wasn't thoughtful and don't know how to say pleasant and comforting words. Let alone words of love. How could the original owner, who had taken a blow, endure such a life? Under the same roof, the original owner's grievances became deeper and deeper, and her temper became more and more irritable. When she was in a bad mood, she would readily treat the three sons with hits, scolding, and punishment of starvation. Although the three sons weren't so decent after growing up in this environment of domestic violence, but also weren't super bad. The real trigger was the original body aka. The lowest rank slash 18 line female cannon fodder, at the age of 31, also the time of 1977 college entrance examination restoration, ran away with the educated urban youth, a special term during the Cultural Revolution, who passed college exam and was going to return to the city. Having said that, got to talk about the appearance of the original owner even if she was an 18-line female cannon fodder that was only mentioned in a few sentences under the author's pen. The author's description of her appearance was carefully written, saying that her eyes were eyes and her nose was a nose. From young to big, she was pretty in her maternal family's village and well-deserved to be the village's flower. And even if the villain's father retired and got no allowance for every month, she never went to the field and relied on the incommunicative villain's father and her three sons to support her. She took the blood of the whole family to provide herself. As for the villain's father and the three sons, don't think of getting anything. For she must have two new clothes every half a year, and she always had to apply vanishing cream and clam balm on her face. Additionally, she didn't need to go out in the wind and rain. So even at the age of 31, the original owner looked younger than the average 25-year-old girl. The foundation was there and she knew how to dress up, so even if she was 31 years old, she was still a pretty beauty. In private, she hooked up with the educated youth in the countryside. Later, the college entrance examination resumed, the educated youth became part of the first group of intellectuals admitted to the university. At this time, the original owner couldn't endure. Under his encouragement, she took all the family's money and ran away with him. The author's description of the backgrounds of the three villains, Zhou Kai, Zhou Xian, and Zhou Gui Lai, did not stop there. Later, the tragic end of the original owner was written. She was abandoned by the educated youth, all her money got scammed and finally died in a foreign land. And her three villain sons had made a name for themselves in the underworld. But their ends were no exception, including the villain's father. When the description of the villain's father appeared again in the novel, he was already in his fifties. On the way out, he ran into his eldest son who was fighting with people and was losing because other side got more people. The villain's father was skilled, but because of old injuries that haven't been nursed in the early stage. Sometimes it acts up, making him unable to walk in the past years. So how could he be a match to 20 or 30 years old youths? He was stabbed with a knife within a few moves, and it was a good few. He died before his eldest son Zhou Kai could cry and sent him to the hospital. The villain's father was the biggest trigger because when he died, it cut off all the chance for the three villain's sons to turn back, 
prompting the three of them to truly embark on this path of no return. Later, there was a severe attack on their underworld. The oldest brother Zhou and the second brother clashed with the police male lead, while the youngest brother fell in love with the gentle and kind like a rabbit girlfriend of the male lead, which was the female hero. The author wrote that at first, the three brothers planned to kill the male lead through his weak point, the female lead. Zhou No. 3 pretended to be mentally retarded, approached the female lead and was taken home by the female lead to be taken care of. In the end, instead of using her, he was attracted by her kindness and innocence. He fell really deep and couldn't extricate himself. Zhou No. 3 had a lot of entanglement with the female lead. As a reader, Lin Qing, he had Spitzlot at the time. Because under the author's pen, the heroine was not completely without feeling toward infatuated Zhou, No. 3. Zhou No. 3, described by the author as a very manly and handsome man and was smooth talker, especially skilled at pleasing girls. In fact, the three villains' appearances were top quality in the author's writings. They can be compared with the male lead. And if he wasn't good-looking, the female lead wouldn't take him home if she saw an ugly monster with mental retardation. Let's not go into details on the process. In the end, because of this kind female hostess, Joe No. 3, as well as his elder brother and second elder brother, were all served. Without exception, they got executed, by gunfire. From the beginning to the end of the story, this novel is laying the foundation for the hero and heroine's love road. Using the misfortunes of other people to set off the happiness and purity of love of the hero and heroine. Mother, have you cooked yet? I'm starving to death. When Lin Qing, he was immersed in the plot she had seen before, a completely dirty boy burst inside from outside. Seeing this boy, Lin Qing, his mind sprang at Zhou De Hua, aka Zhou Kai, the same message was same as Zhou Er Hua, who was glancing at her as he held onto her hem and asking for food. It was also because of the names of her three sons, did she come to sense that she had entered this kind of wolf and tiger den. Mother, my elder brother said that he was hungry. Zhou Er Hua was worthy of being a dog-headed tactician among the three brothers in the author's writing. Listening to it, he's only three years old and already knew how to play mind games. He himself really wanted to eat, but label another as the culprit. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. At this time, Zhou No. 3, who was sleeping on the side, was also awake. He was one year old. He couldn't speak now, not even the simplest father and mother. That's all right. All three big villains who cause trouble in every direction are all here. Should she hang them up first and beat, or beat first, then hang up? Chapter 6 Mold and Pinch Guru when Lin Qing, he looked at the three brothers without good intentions, a loud belly sounded. Zhou De Hua, Zhou Er Hua, and one-year-old Zhou San Hua all looked at their mother's belly. Zhou San also puffed out saliva to copy the stomach grumble. Lin Qing he. Let's eat first. According to the memory of the original owner, it was time to eat at this time, otherwise, Zhou De Hua, this kid won't come back. It was all well timed to come back for dinner time punctually. Mother, what did you buy? Zhou Dewa saw a package on the Kong and asked. Lin Qing, he noticed the big package, and the corner of her mouth twitched. This was what the original owner got from to the market in the county city after breakfast at half past five. The fabric she bought for herself was going to make a new dress for herself. It was already the end of September in the lunar calendar. Although it was not cold, it was already a bit cool, especially in the morning and evening, but after entering the lunar calendar's October, it will get colder each day. This fabric was for preparing clothes for herself, and there are two pounds of new cotton in it, so the package looks a bit big. But it doesn't matter how big it was, it had nothing to do with the three children are. The original owner prepared it for herself. Delicious stuff. With a turn of a head, Lin Qing, he answered. Don't coax us, mother. Every time you buy cloth for yourself when you go out and lie to us that it is food. The future villain who was still Zhou De Hua, was already very smart. He grinned when she said that. 
In fact, the original owner's treatment toward the three brothers was SOSO. It was set to the minimum level of won't starve to death. As for how well, it was non-existent. However, children at this age have a natural dependence and attachment to their mothers, and what's more, they are also in the age of remembering to eat and forgetting the hit, so naturally, they won't hold it to their heart. Hearing what his elder brother said, Zhou Er Wa released her dress, because he remembered it too. Ah. Zhou Senwa could not understand this, also noticed the big package, so he stood up and staggered towards that side. Lin Qing, he quickly hugged him. It won't be a trivial matter if he fell. It then came to her and asked Zhou Er Wa, who put your brother on the Kong? The thoughtless original owner went to the market early this morning as she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to buy good cloth if she was late. She had saved a lot of cloth coupons. When she left in the morning, Zhou Sanhua was left to his two brothers' care. However, Zhou Dewa immediately ran off to play. While Zhou Er Hua stayed behind, but he didn't have the ability to put Sanhua on the bed to sleep. My grandma, said Zhou Er Hua with disinterest. His grandma was Mother Zhou, the mother-in-law of the original owner. Speaking of which, Lin Qing, he even wanted to criticize the low-rank, small cannon fodder. The population of old Zhou's family wasn't monotonous. The villain's father, Zhou Qingbai, was the youngest son of Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. Above Zhou Qingbai were three brothers and two sisters. And below Zhou Qingbai was a still-not-married sister. She was currently a worker in the county city, which was very decent. All three elder brothers above him had already started a family, but they did not receive as good treatment as the original owner. That's because Father Zhou and Mother Zhou both doted on the youngest son, Zhou Qingbai. But it was also exactly because of this that the original owner wickedly caused trouble on the first day of the marriage. The excuse had come knocking on the door. On the day of the wedding, Zhou Qingbai could only consummate and then hurried away after receiving the urgent report, leaving no words behind. This made the original owner feel like she lost lots of faces. Of course, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou felt like they owed her, so when she complained, they said nothing. After all, the newlyweds hadn't stayed together for two days before their son left. They had mistreated fourth daughter-in-law. At this time, the original owner wanted to seize the opportunity to propose a separation. She had the idea of splitting away from the family before she married, as she wanted to have sole financial power. Perhaps the original owner was a bit lucky. One month later, it was found out that she was pregnant. Forgive all three sisters-in-law above her for are secretly lamenting the original owner's stomach capability. The original owner was a person who knows how to take advantage of the situation. On the day she found out about her pregnancy, she started a starvation strike. An appearance of not wanting to live. If it was just her, Mother Zhou, her mother-in-law really didn't want her to get used to getting her way. But there was no other way, she had her fourth son's baby in her stomach, now ah. Being on the front line, fourth son was in a lot of danger. If something ever happened, then this was the only bloodline of the fourth son. So when the original owner proposed a separation, she had no worries at all and did not think about the consequences of the word coming out of her mouth, like what would the villagers think of her, or what would they say her behind her back. But even if she thought of it, the original owner didn't care at all, because she had never put herself together with the people in the village. She thought that she would leave the village and barren land sooner or later. Because of using her life, as well as treating her tummy as a protection amulet, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou finally let her separate in desperation. And also mobilized other people in the old Zhou family to build two bedrooms house. This caused quite a stir in the village. No matter how others comment, the original owner ignored it. In short, the original owner successfully separated and had not been to Father Zhou's and Mother Zhou's side since then. But it's still that phrase, the original owners have no other skills other than a capable belly. One after another, she got three sons. With this, even Father Zhou said nothing. Because the eldest brother, Zhou Qingmu, and eldest sister-in-law, Zhou, now have three daughters. 
It was until the fourth child, they got a son, currently only two years old. However, her stomach have movement again now. Don't know if it's a boy or girl. The author did not elaborate. The second brother, Zhou Qing Lin, was also in a similar situation, two daughters in a row, the last child was the son, now only three years old. The third brother, Zhou Qing Sen, currently had a daughter, who was already six years old. The last time she gave birth to her daughter, she lost her vitality. It was until this year, she recovered and became pregnant. Third Zhou sister-in-law's stomach was no longer small, it seems that she will give birth by the end of this year. Under this premise, the original owner with three sons in a row made the original owner stood very tall in old Zhou family's home. Rural people, especially people in this era, have a desire for a son that is more than a full stomach. The stomach can be hungry, but one can't be without a son. Sons birthed by the original was equal to all of her sisters-in-law, so Mother Zhou didn't make it hard on her. But in the end, her heart ached for her three grandchildren. What's more, Mother Zhou was also clear about original owner's personality. From time to time, she would come and take a look. For example, now, in the midst of a busy autumn harvest, Mother Zhou still took the time to take a look. Mother, why are you in a daze? My stomach is flat out hungry. When she was in deep contemplation, Zhou De Hua became a little impatient waiting. Lin Qing, he took a deep breath and glared at him, dare to yell at your mother again, there is nothing for you to eat. Who cares that he'll be some villain in the future? Right now, he's just a small bean now, for her, to mold and pinch. Chapter 7 Big White Bun Zhou De Hua didn't put it on his mind, but curled his lips. Wait for me. Putting Zhou San Hua on the ground to let him move freely, she then hummed away as she carried her big parcel back to the room. She had her own room, next to the children's room. Outside was the kitchen. Mother really brought back delicious food? In the neighboring room, Zhou De Hua asked Zhou Er Hua. Zhou Er Hua pouted. When his mother just got back, he thought so. After being reminded by Big Brother, he didn't have any hope. Even though he looked three years old, he was already sharp-witted. Under the command of Zhou Number 2, besides killing the male lead, it was possible for a tie when fighting with the male lead, if it weren't for Zhou Number 3 ruining everything. Keep acting like this, I'll beat you. Although Zhou Dawa didn't understand his brother's expression, he still felt like he was being underestimated and glared at him. Who do you want to beat? Lin Qing, he opened the door and spoke out. And she was holding a bun in her hand at this time, it was still warm, and the scent emitted from it made Zhou Dawa and Zhou Er Hua gulp, big white bun? Want to eat? Lin Qing, he glanced at the brothers. Want. Both nodded honestly. Even Zhou San Hua stepped forward to hug her feet. He also wanted to eat. Will you be obedient in the future? Lin Qing, he asked. Mother, I have always been obedient, and the disobedient one is Big Brother. Zhou Er Hua expressed. You dare to talk about, I'll really beat you. Zhou De Hua angrily roared. Beat who? Lin Qing, he glared. Zhou De Hua wanted to reply with beat second brother, but in the end, the big white bread was too tempting to say anything. Half for you guys. I still have it in the cupboard, so if you behave well, you will have it for the next meal. But if you are not obedient, eat cornmeal cakes. Lin Qing, he stated. Compared to the earlier famine years, cornmeal cakes are undoubtedly a good thing. In those years, it wasn't a lie to say that they ate bran and coarse vegetable. Obviously, Zhou De Hua and Zhou Er Hua did not like to eat it. After all, they received allowances and ration coupons that Dylan's father sent back each month, all of which the original owner had to bring their marriage certificate to get. So even if the original owner does not go to the field to earn work point, living standard at home was not bad. But eating cornmeal cakes was a common occurrence. I'll be obedient. Lin Qing, he finished speaking, and Zhou Erhua immediately answered. Zhou De Hua scolded him for being gutless, 
but under Lin Qing Yi's gaze, he also quickly followed and copied him. Then Lin Qing, he decided to give these three villains half a white bun. A white flower bun wasn't small. Lin Qing, he just transmigrated over and couldn't fully digest the matter. So eating half a white bun was enough. The remaining half was given to the three sons, but half of the white bun was not enough for them to eat. Lin Qing, he looked at the egg jar at home and there were a few eggs inside. So she beat the three eggs for their brother. She poured boiling water over it, and it became egg drop soup. Mother, I not full yet. Zhou De Wa quickly drank and declared. Zhou Er Wa was not full either, at most was half full. On the other hand, Zhou San Wa's appetite was not that big. With a few gulps of the egg drop soup, he was full. Of course, he got full fast and got hungry just as quick. Children of this age were generally white and fat, but Zhou San Wa was skinny. Although the children in this era were all like this, as they were 30 to 40 percent starved. They all lived like this. However, on this side, it was because the original owner didn't care. Because with the villain's father's allowance, there was no shortage of food in the family. The three children could avoid being raised to this extent. Both of you, go to sleep on the Kong, Lin Qing, he said. I'm going out to play. Zhou Dewa immediately rebutted. Go out after sleep and I'll cook meat for you tonight. Lin Qing, he said. Really? Zhou Dewa quickly inquired. Not just him, even Zhou Er Wa's eyes also brightened as he looked at their mother who was a little different today. It's fine if you don't eat. Lin Qing, he gruffly responded. Zhou Dewa and Zhou Er Wa immediately hopped to Kong. Zhou San Wa couldn't get up, was still off the Kong, uttering aha. Zhou De Wa was afraid that this little brother would cause them to have no meat tonight, so he came down, picked him up and Zhou Er Wa pulled him up. Really must say, the two of them really got Zhou San Wa onto the Kong. Sleep well. Lin Qing, he covered them with thin sheets and said. Is there really meat tonight? Zhou De Wa confirmed again. Yes. Lin Qing, he nodded with certainty. Zhou De Wa and Zhou Er Wa were relieved and then took their brother to sleep together. Lin Qing, he returned to her room regardless of whether they were whispering in private. It was a single room, but it wasn't big. It only got a con and a closet, as well as a wash basin and a towel. Next to it were rice crock, corn pot, egg jar, half a bottle of oil and salt container that was about to reach the bottom. These were stored in her room. Because there was a small door in her room, she didn't put it in the cabinet. In other people's homes, it was directly placed and locked in the cabinet. Lin Qing, he was also a little tired. The original owner had walked all morning and she also just transmigrated over. So she came out to close the door and decided to let other matters wait till she wakes up. So the mother and sons took an afternoon nap together. At the same time, in the remote frontline units, Zhou Qingbai was immediately sent to their district hospital for an emergency operation. Several of the partners rescued by him almost kneeled down to the doctor, willed for the doctor and nurse to save their old Zhou. The district's major upper ranks deeply frowned when he learned that Zhou Qingbai was seriously injured and was sent to the district hospital. He was very optimistic about Zhou Qingbai but this time it may not be easy to save his life. In the future. Prepare for a small clerical job for little Zhou. Finally, one upper rank sighed and declared. With little Zhou's temperament, I'm afraid he won't stay again. Another upper rank also felt deep pity, shaking his head. If this hadn't happened this time, little Zhou's position would have also be promoted again. It wasn't easy for the farmer's children to break into the current spot with their bare hands. Really a pity. Hearing this, the previous upper rank was also silent, because they all knew Zhou Qing Bai's character. If he could not go to the front, he would not stay. Then used the credit he made this time to apply for a living allowance for him to take home. I heard that he still had three sons at home. Finally, the upper rank stated. The other one had no comments. 
while at home, the mother and sons, who carelessly and heartlessly slept, didn't receive the legendary telepathy connection at all. Lin Ching, he slept till four o'clock. When she woke up, her three sons were awake as well. Probably because of thinking about the meat she promised, Zhou De Hua didn't run out to play in private. Lin Qing, he scooped up and washed her face. She took out two new towels from her space. The color was very low-key, one for herself and one for their brothers. As for the original owner's treasured one, she was going to use it to wipe the feet of the three Zhou brothers. Chapter 8 Egg and Lean Pork Kanji she called them over wiped the face of all three brothers, washed their hands again and then sent them off. Mother, it's time to cook. Joe de Wa reminded her. The children were hungry fast. At this time, they all became hungry. Lin Qing, he relied on the fact that the brothers were all young and didn't know what she brought back in her big package, so she went in and got an apple. Without peeling, she just washed, cut to two quarters, and gave a quarter each to Zhou De Hua and Zhou Erhua. As for San Hua, Lin Qing, he took a spoon and scraped apple puree to feed him. Zhou De Hua and Zhou Erhua never expected there was such delicious fruit to eat. Even though it was only a quarter, the two of them were very satisfied. Lin Qing, he was not worried, because there were apples and pears at this side, but there were no grapes. She intended to eat the grapes secretly. Occasionally taking advantage of the absence of the two big ones, she can feed some to the little baby, who can't talk yet. As for Zhou Erhua, he was too ghostly sharp. Don't give it to him to eat, so she can save all the trouble that comes from eating. After feeding half to San Hua, Lin Qing, he ate the rest herself. Zhou De Hua and Zhou Erhua, who already finished and was prepared to protest about her bias, shut up. I'll make meat for you, so take care of your brother. Lin Qing, he got up and instructed. Because the white bun at noon and the little half of the apple, Zhou De Hua and Zhou Er Hua dare not disobey. Although they were young and don't understand a lot, they are not stupid. They can slightly feel that their mother seems to treat them better than before. Lin Qing, he entered the kitchen. There was only one earth stove in the kitchen, but the wok on the top was good. Although the spatula was very old, it was in good condition. But these were all exchanged by the original owner with her maternal family after her family separation. She had exchanged them for a large price. And it was because of the kitchen equipment, old Zhou family only agreed on splitting the family. Otherwise, the walk would have been a big problem after separation. Industrial coupons were not easy to get, and the old Zhou family didn't have any. Although the kitchen was simple, everyone else was in a similar condition. From young Lin Qing, he had lived with her grandmother in the countryside. So it wasn't hard for her to use this old stove pot, even if she wasn't used to it. What's more, she still had the memory of the original owner. She scrubbed the wok, boiled water, and then got a pot of rice washed. There was rice in the barrel and flour in the other barrel. But there wasn't much. The original owner had not thought of buying rice and flour on this trip, just cloth for herself to make clothes. Lin Qing, he shook her head, took a bag of rice from the space and poured it in. And then took another bag of flour, poured it into the other barrel and filled the jar full with eggs. The three kids in the family don't care about these, and they don't know to count. At most, they know that there are more eggs and more rice. As for how much, they don't know so it was up to her how it goes. After doing this, Lin Qing, he took a piece of lean meat from the space, about 150-200 g of it. She planned to make egg lean and pork congee, rice porridge. As the knife at home was very blunt, Lin Qing, he frankly took a new old-fashioned styled kitchen knife from the space and used it. Since there are few kids at home, as long as she did not do anything out of the ordinary, she was not worried at all. Even if there was something out of the ordinary, can she be worse than the original owner? Besides, she collected these materials to make herself more comfortable, but not for them to collect dust. Her new knife was sharp. After washing, it was much easier to chop the meat. The 150-200g lean meat was soon all chopped up. 
At this time, the water in the pot was also boiled, so the washed rice was poured into it, and then she started stirring with a large spoon to avoid them sticking to the bottom. Mother, what are you making for us? At some unknown time, Zhou Erhua appeared at the kitchen door and blinkingly asked. Lin Qing, he said, tonight we're having egg and lean pork, congee tonight. Is it delicious? Zhou Erhua never had egg and lean pork, congee before. But there are eggs and meat, just think about it, it must be very delicious. That's of course. It'll make you swallow your tongue later. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Erhua could hear that his mother was joking, looked at her, and then cautiously walked over to hug her leg. Lin Qing, he glanced down at him, what's wrong? Mother, you're so good, Zhou Erhua gazed at her. It's enough to know I'm good. In the village, whose mother is a stepmother. Look at the lives of other children, and then look at you, three brothers. Lin Qing, he said. This wasn't a false statement. A household in the village married in a stepmother and toward the former wife's children, she beat and berated. Their lives weren't easy. Zhou Erhua giggled, Mother, don't scare me. Won't scare you. Take good care of your younger brother, and I'll have a few new clothes made for you brothers this new year. Lin Qing, he promised. New clothes? Zhou De Hua heard this as soon as he brought San Hua in and his eyes brightened. Mother, do I also get new clothes? Zhou Er Hua also had an anxious face. Lin Qing, he opened the lid and without turning her head back as she answered, be obedient and not do bad things, there will be delicious food and new clothes. But if you are not obedient, then go wear your broken clothes and nibble your cornmeal cake. I'll be good. The brothers shouted immediately. Good. Sanwa echoed. Lin Qing, he looked at him in surprise, Sanwa can speak. Ah. Sanwa immediately hugged her legs and act spoiled. Come on, back to his original form again. However, Lin Qing, he was not worried at all. Under the author's pen, he started talking later. Later, he became a guy who is so skilled at talking that he can coax a girl into bursting in joy. Lin Qing, he said to the two big ones, do you know where the eggs are? Go in and each get two. I know. The two older ones left to get the eggs. One in each hand meant a total of four. Sure enough, the brothers didn't think about why there were more eggs. Lin Qing, he let Zhou De Hua go in to get the salt. At this time, the salt was the kind of coarse ones. Lin Qing, he glanced and sent out all three brothers. Then she took out a pack of table salt and used it. Now that she had materials in the space, it goes without saying she would use the materials in the space first. Anyway, there are 50 pounds of salt in her space. After the kanji was cooked, Lin Qing, he put the minced meat in it and evenly mixed it. She stirred the beaten egg in, added a little salt and this pot of egg and lean pork kanji was ready. Don't know if it was because the original owner hadn't eaten meat for too long, Lin Qing, he felt it was very fragrant. So don't mention the three sons. All three brothers stared into the kitchen. All of you wait, it's very hot. Lin Qing, he said as she took the bowls, ladled one bowl each for Zhou Dawa and Zhou Er Hua and placed it on the side. I can blow my own food. Zhou Dawa immediately said. I can too, Zhou Er Hua followed. And Zhou San Hua, who was still unable to speak, ran over to hug her leg and screaming, aha. His eyes were desperately staring at the porridge. Lin Qing, he picked up Zhou San Hua and left the porridge in the kitchen to cool. She brought Zhou De Hua and Zhou Er Hua out. Chapter 9 Sound bitch as she carried Zhou Sanhua. Zhou De Hua and Zhou Er Hua wanted to eat meat kanji, so they do not want to leave. However, Lin Qing, he had a task for both of them, go and call your grandma to come over. Call grandma to drink meat kanji? Asked Zhou Er Hua. Your grandma usually treats you well and it's only right to call her over to have a bowl of meat kanji. Piety is the foundation of all virtues. You need to be filial to your elders, okay? 
Lin Ching, he explained. Mother, you are not always filial to Grandma. Zhou Er Hua blinked. Lin Ching, he choked, pretended to be angry, are you going or not? If you don't go call your grandma over, all of you don't get to eat. I'm going to call grandma now. Zhou Dewa said. After he finished speaking, he opened the door and sprinted out. Lin Ching, he looked at Zhou Er Hua. Zhou Er Hua responded, brother already went. It meant that one was enough, no need for him. Lin Ching, he didn't bother about him then. Zhou Erwa spoke, Mother, I want to eat first, I'm hungry. If you're not afraid of your elder brother coming back and beating you, then you cannot wait for him. This time I will definitely not stop him when he beats you. Lin Ching, he said with a smile. Zhou Erwa knew that his elder brother's fists were powerful, so he stopped talking and waited honestly. Although they were separated, the house was not far away from the old Joe's house. It takes less than two minutes to run on the foot for Dewa. But even at this distance, the original owner had never been there again. She never thought herself was as old Joe family's daughter-in-law and everyone knew this. Therefore, Mother Zhou was surprised when Zhou Dewa came to find her and said his mother was looking for her. Because she was clear about fourth daughter-in-law's character. She usually wanted to stay away from them. How could she take the initiative to invite her over? Toward Lin Qing, he sending De Hua over to call her instead of Lin Qing, he coming to find her, Mother Zhou did not care, because there were more worse things than this. For example, the ruckus to split the family at the time. That was really going all the way out. Not letting her split off, she'll go die together with fourth son's unborn child. Mother, go over and see. Maybe there's really a matter. Third Joe sister-in-law said as she held her stomach. Third auntie, when will little brother come out? Joe Dewa asked as soon as he saw her belly. These words made third Joe sister-in-law, who only had daughters so far, smiled with more sincerity and replied, it will be two months. When the time comes, play with little brother? It was said that the child's eyes are wise. From the first time, Zhou Dewa saw her belly, he always says it, a little brother. This made third Zhou sister-in-law, who didn't really like his mother A.K. A her fourth sister-in-law, be friendly with him. Okay, when little brother comes out, I will take him around to play. Zhou Dewa cheerfully promised. Afterward, he couldn't wait to pull grandma away. Truthfully, mother Zhou was not so kind. She just favored her youngest son, so she also loved these grandsons. They also knew that their grandma dotes on them, otherwise, they wouldn't dare to pull her like this. What's the hurry? Said Mother Zhou verbally. Mentally, she started to figure out what fourth daughter-in-law wanted to do. Was there no food and wanted to take advantage of the autumn harvest to buy food with the family? That shouldn't be. Fourth daughter-in-law always turned her elbows outward. She had always bought them at the market and disdained to have exchange with old Zhou family's people. They have a market here. In the countryside, there was no need for a food coupon to buy food, just money was enough. Fourth son sent money back every month. She wasn't short of food and drink. Just by looking at how well fed she was, one can tell. If it weren't for her fourth son, this lazy girl who only knew to eat would have been pulled out and have her acts criticized by all. This wasn't Mother Zhou joking. Now it was quite strict, however, because there was Zhou Qing Bai, a divine needle which guarded the sea, T slash N, a reference from Journey to the West Chinese novel. Old Zhou family members were highly respected whenever they go out. The original owner thought Zhou Sanhua was still too young and Zhou Dewa was not as sensible as the female kid. He didn't do any chores at all, so of course, there was no food share at the end of the year. In half a month or so, the production team will kill pigs to reward everyone, but the original owner does not have any pork work points. If she wanted to eat pork, it was possible. After all, they are all from one village. She just needed to use the money to buy it from the team. And it was leftovers after everyone else picked their share. But the leftovers were also good. 
In this era, anything with oil was good stuff. The original owner had done that and didn't care that in others' eyes, she was a spendthrift and that marrying someone like her was three lifetime of misfortune for a good guy like Zhou Qingbai. Of course, this was what women thought. Every time men see the original owner swaying, healthy posture and the way she carried her face and figure when going out, they can't help but take a few more glances. And then feel that Zhou Qingbai wasn't blessed. To marry a beautiful girl like this, he can't sleep with her for more than two three days a year. It's not that some bachelors didn't have thoughts of doing bad things in the village. It was just that the current social atmosphere was the best security, so who dares to do anything? And take look at whose woman it was. This was Zhou Qing Bai's woman, the daughter-in-law of the old Zhou family. Even though old Zhou family was dissatisfied with her for causing a ruckus to split, but if something really happened, the dozen to twenty people in old Zhou family will definitely unify to fight outsiders. At this time, people wanted more sons exactly for this reason. To put it awkwardly, if there was no son at home, there's no power to go out and quarrel with others. But the most important reason was at that stage, the original owner, who was still dreaming of becoming an official wife, don't want any dust in her sight. She looked down at these single bumpkins. Not to mention the bachelors, she even looked down on the urban educated youths who went to the countryside. But then the dream shattered, so she lowered the standard. Along the way, Mother Zhou had misgivings. It was until she reached the house and she saw fourth daughter-in-law carrying the egg and lean pork kanji, she was stunned, where did you get your pork? I bought it from that part in the city, Lin Qing, he replied casually, as she held San Hua. That part referred to the black market, but it was inconvenient to say with children present. In the county town, a black market existed. It was a place for private transactions. The original owner had visited there as well, but not to buy meat and grain, but to buy cotton. She bought one gene of cotton at the demand and supply cooperative, and the remaining gene was bought in the black market. Mother Zhou understood. She knew that fourth daughter-in-law was a daring one, but she didn't expect her to be that daring. To even go to the black market. Mother, you don't need to talk about me. My sons are all growing. How can it do to be without meat from the start to the end of the year? Lin Qing, he said. Mother Zhou mentally commented, I hadn't seen you show any affection toward your children before. If you have any tricks, show them already and don't drag on these. Lin Qing, he said, today's made a bit too much meat kanji. This autumn harvest has been very busy, mother, you have some for nourishment. This was not surprising when the other three daughters-in-law said it to Mother Zhou. But the words were spoken by fourth daughter-in-law, so she should be careful. Say it. Did something happen to you? Without being roundabout with her, Mother Zhou asked her directly. I bought some cotton and cloth from the black market and plan to make a new one for these three boys, but my skills are lacking as I can make my own. Mother, how about you help me to bring it back to third sister-in-law to avoid me ruining it? Third sister-in-law's craftsmanship is excellent and among the sister-in-law, I only have taken a liking to hers. Treat the leftover fabric as a fee for her. Lin Qing, he said. These words were said very bitch-like. But this was the original owner's tone. Chapter 10 Well-made foundation Mother Zhou also knew she was distressed for herself, as for others, don't think about it. In fact, the clothes de Wa, Er Wa, and San Hua War were from a year ago. At that time, it was made a bit longer and was wearable even to now. At that time, it was made by third sister-in-law. And because of this, Zhou de Wa would little brother whenever he saw third auntie's belly. Must say, he was discerning. But third daughter-in-law's belly is so big now. Although she doted her three grandchildren, Mother Zhou was hesitant. How far along is she? Lin Qing, he asked. There are still two months left, Mother Zhou answered. Then mother, go back and ask third sister-in-law to see if she wants to or not. If she is willing, I can give her two pounds of brown sugar to nourish her body while she is confined in birth rest. Lin Qing, he stated. Brown sugar? 
Where did you get the brown sugar? Mother Zhou couldn't help saying. With money, naturally, there is brown sugar. Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. When Mother Zhou heard it, she understood that it must have been obtained from the black market. Lin Qing, he also what kind of character the original owner was, she put Zhou Sanhua in her arms and said, Mother, you feed Sanhua first. I'm going in to get brown sugar. At this time, brown sugar was a rare thing. Especially for the soon-to-give-birth third sister-in-law, it was definitely a scarce item. When Lin Qing, he returned to her room, she took two jean of it out of the space. In her space, she only had twenty jean, or ten kilograms, so it was not much. Two jean of brown sugar was packed in a clean jar, which was a lot of weight, and what's more the color of this brown sugar was also good quality. Mother, have a look. Lin Qing, he showed her the brown sugar. Toward the business-like tone, Mother Zhou didn't find it strange. Having a quick look and she said, then I'll take it back and ask for you? All right. Lin Qing, he nodded and pointed to the porridge, this is for mother, to nourish your body. Have it. It was an appearance of once this passes, it expires. If she had acted filial, Mother Zhou would panic in her heart and not eat it. But seeing her like this, Mother Zhou thought I'm your mother-in-law, so what if I eat this? So she ate the bowl of egg and lean pork congee as well. The taste was really fragrant. Then she took a jar of brown sugar and went back. Mother, do you really want third auntie to make clothes for us? Zhou Dewa's eyes shone brightly. It's a big jar of brown sugar. Zhou Erwa was focused on that. Zhou Sanhua was already full and played by himself in the yard. Lin Qing, he started eating by herself, and said, one for each person, no more. As for the brown sugar, it takes a lot of care to make clothes for you, so I need to give some fee for the effort. Although she inherited the original owner's skill, she really can't make children's clothes. Probably was, because the original owner's obsession was too deep, she will make. Mother, if you do it yourself, you don't have to give third anti-brown sugar. Erwa was still thinking about this. Lin Qing, he stared, if I don't make clothes for you, I don't have to give this brown sugar. With this sentence, Erwa shut up. Lin Qing, he wasn't going to spoil him and drank her egg and lean pork congee. After a while, she remembered, you have to change your shoes. I have to make shoes for you as well. It would have been good to have a daughter, to help out, but you all are sons. Can't count on it any of you. Giving birth to sons is making debts. When she said this, Mother Zhou had just returned. And her face was unchanged. This fourth daughter-in-law is lazy to death, so naturally, she wishes for a daughter to work for her. Your third sister-in-law agreed. Mother Zhou said when she came in. I'm finished. Mother, wait a moment, I'll go in to get the cloth and cotton. Lin Qing, he put down her tableware and said. It was already the end of September now, and it wasn't that fast to make cotton coats. Afraid it will be around mid-October when the cotton coats for the three brothers are done. At that time, it will be cold. Now it was one day different from another. And as third sister-in-law's belly grows bigger, so can't really order her around later. Lin Qing, he went in and took the cloth and two pounds of cotton. This time the cloth bought back was not only for the original owner herself. The original owner intended to send it to her maternal family to gain face. In fact, one jean of two jean of cotton was prepared for her maternal family. But now Lin Qing, he was here, old Lin family, better not expect anything. If there was a chance, she still wanted to take back the new military coat that Zhou Qingbai sent back before. Counting how much it takes to make her own clothes and the amount reserved for old Lin family, it was just right to make three sets of winter clothes for the three brothers. After all, Zhou De Hua would need a lot of fabrics because she had to reserve some length to avoid it being too short when he grew next year. The same thing for Zhou Erhua. Actually, there was no need to do it for Zhou Sanhua, as above him were two older brothers. But since they were making it, then they should make it for all three brothers. 
Anyway, she didn't need to use her hands, just only move her mouth. As a low-rank female cannon fodder, she was that capricious. Mother Zhou did not expect that she could get such good cloth and so much cotton, and what's more, it wasn't for herself but for her three sons. This was somewhat comforting for Mother Zhou. But it was inevitable that she'll say a few more words, now De Wa and the others are still young, but within a few years, they will all grow up one by one. At that time, it will cost money to marry a wife. Mother, don't worry, I know. Lin Qing, he interrupted her directly, and said. Mother Zhou choked, mentally said, you understand? What do you understand? Whose life isn't like a tight belt? You are eating kanji from outside. As well as that, egg and pork are in the kanji. How much does it cost? But in the end, the original owner had a well-laid foundation, so Mother Zhou didn't go too far and stopped talking. She took the cloth and cotton and went back. As soon as she left, Lin Qing, he was actually quietly relieved in her heart. In fact, she was asked to deal with Mother Zhou like this, she really couldn't. But according to today's performance, it seems that Mother Zhou adapts well to her performance. Oh, original owner, original owner. You can be considered doing a good deed. Lin Qing, he was very emotional. With such an extraordinary foundation, even if she acted out of character, it won't be excessive now. In a good mood, she picked up Zhou Sanhua and kissed him, causing Zhou Sanhua to giggle. Both Zhou Dehua and Zhou Er Hua saw it, and they couldn't help staring at Lin Qing He. Lin Qing He kissed each of their foreheads. Zhou Dehua blushed and said, I'm going out to play. Then he ran out. Zhou Erhua was also a little embarrassed and ran out. Lin Qing, he didn't bother about them either. She divided a bowl of kanji for Mother Zhou. There was almost one bowl left in the pot. Lin Qing, he scooped it up and put it aside. Then she cleaned up the tableware and boiled the water while she was at it to prepare for the kids to wash up when they come back. Mother Zhou brought the cloth and cotton back. Actually at this time was getting off work hour, but old Zhou family members haven't returned yet. It wasn't five o'clock yet. Mother Zhou had been working for three days and couldn't keep going, so she rested today and not go work. Her family was large, so it didn't matter if she rested for half a day. As for third sister-in-law, her pregnancy month was big, so she was responsible for cooking at home. Of course, eldest sister-in-law, whose pregnancy was small, also helped out. However, Mother Zhou was resting today, so she was replaced by Mother Zhou. Otherwise, it was usually eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law was responsible at home. Seeing the cloth and cotton brought back by Mother Zhou, third sister-in-law was envious. However, this can't be enviable. She looked at the cloth size and the amount of cotton, and she said with some joy in her heart, Mother, Fourth sister-in-law request that Dewa and his brothers each one set of clothes? And the rest is for me? Chapter 11 Zhou family's affair, that's what she said, but you have to leave extra length for them, as they grow up fast. Mother Zhou still loved them a lot, so she said it like this. That is a must, third sister-in-law, complied. Mother Zhou nodded and said nothing more. In fact, except for fourth daughter-in-law, None of the other three made her worry. Third sister-in-law started to estimate in her heart. After finishing Zhou de Waz and his brothers, there was still a lot of fabric left and adding the bits from last time, she can still make a warm jacket for her daughter. Coupled with the two jean of brown sugar given by fourth's wife, this action was still very generous. Just looking at it, third sister-in-law was very satisfied. But now was not the time for this. She placed the cloth and cotton in her room and went to the kitchen to help Mother Zhou. As a matter of fact, everyone was dissatisfied with the matter that the original owner had moved out at the beginning, but as time passed, everyone felt it was really fortunate. Because the original owner never worked at all. When she first got married, she would say this hurt, this ache. In short, she didn't work no matter what. But where does the work point come from if she didn't work? This was a person who eats free rice. She had hands and feet, 
and still want the whole family to support her. Everyone had an objection at that time. Especially because Mother Zhou felt like she was in debt to the original owner, as at the time her son left within a day of their wedding. So she let the original owner take Zhou Qingbai's allowance. Then asked her to pay the living expenses to the family, so even if she did not go to work, it was Zhou Qingbai who raised her. Others can't really say anything. However, Mother Zhou did not expect that it was because of this that the original owner gained more courage. Otherwise, she would not dare to act suicidal once she confirmed pregnant. Made it look like no one else had been pregnant before. Contrary to expectation, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou happened to eat this cake, fall for this act. The reason for this, in the final analysis, was because Father Zhou and Mother Zhou doted on their little son. However, when the original owner was there, their family was very crowded. Because they were newly wedded and it was the youngest son of Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, the family arranged for a room for them when Zhou Qingbai married. Others don't have this treatment. They were all crowded in a room, but at that time there were not many children, so it was okay. It was just that the couple's nightlife was somewhat embarrassing. At that time, it wasn't that the three branches didn't have other thoughts toward the original owner getting a room for herself. It was the same phrase, who made Zhou Qingbai the most doted and youngest son of Father Zhou and Mother Zhou? Another thing was that before Zhou Qingbai got married, the money was sent to the family. It can be said that adding up the earning of eldest three brothers in the Zhou family didn't even meet the amount Zhou Qingbai earned. So even if they have an objection, they have to hold back. Originally, the only original owner got special treatment, but after she fought to split from the family. At that time, all three sisters-in-law were watching the drama but didn't expect her to use her tummy as a protection amulet, and she was able to move out on her own. However, after she split up, in order to appease the other three daughters-in-law, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou gave each of them their own room. Which was much better than being crowded together. At that time, the original owner's initial room was included and was given to third sister-in-law. Eldest sister-in-law and second sister-in-law were all divided into one room each. Now the other three branches in the old Zhou's family were all at ease. Father Zhou took out all the allowance bills sent back by Zhou Qingbai in the last three years, as at that time the original owner was moving out after all. At that time, the allowance was only a bit over 20 yuan per month. So it was more than 200 yuan a year, and more than 600 yuan in three years. To build the original owner's two-bedroom house with a small central room and other inexpensive bits, it cost more than 200 yuan altogether. It wasn't a small sum. But compared to what Zhou Qingbai sent back, it wasn't really much. Mother Zhou used the reason that the money was fourth son's filial piety to them, old couple, and did not intend to give it to the original owner. Truthfully she was worried that the original owner will cause harm to the saving. The original owner got her share of grains and oils, naturally. And what's more, she would receive the allowance from Zhou Qing by every month. So she really didn't make trouble with Mother Zhou again. As everyone had a room, and their family can live in a much more spacious room as well as knowing Zhou Qing Bai sent that much money home, they weren't onto the case of building a house for the original owner. Because five years ago, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were still young, they didn't need to be financially supported by their children. Even if Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were still under 60 years old, they were still healthy. It can be said that even if the original owner had split away, the original owner was more filial respected toward Father Zhou and Mother Zhou by a few hundred yuan than them. Although this money was earned by Zhou Qingbai, it made no difference. With the family divide, they did not need to watch the original owner do nothing did or her expression of everyone owe her. So after all these years, old Zhou family was extremely harmonious. Although there was occasional envy toward the original owner not needing to go to the field to work and just wait for her man to send allowance back to support her, there was nothing to hold a grudge for on the surface. At about six o'clock, the rest of the old Zhou family returned. It was now the autumn harvest time, it was very busy. Being busy from the start of the year was all for this big harvest. 
No one dares to be lazy, otherwise, with one autumn rain, their one-year effort will be in vain. The whole family's livelihood can't survive. Therefore, they all need to swiftly collect the grain. Then they can be at peace. There is brown sugar water in the room, specially made for you father and daughter. Hurry, go drink it. Third sister-in-law saw her man and daughter's sunburnt face and then whispered, quickly. Third sister-in-law's daughter ranked fifth among the daughters of old Zhou family, so she was named Zhou Wu and I. T slash N, Wu equals fifth and I equals girl. Zhou Wu and I was initially a bit exhausted, but her eyes brightened when she heard this. Zhou Qingxin didn't ask anything, just took his daughter back to their room. The father and daughter were satisfied after drinking brown sugar water. The next step was everyone to wash their faces and hands and prepare to eat. The food at old Zhou family's home was good. Cornmeal pancakes are served with rice soup and a pot of scrambled eggs. Although the scramble only had five or six eggs, there were few other dishes. Although they were all vegetarian, other families may not even have this food. This was because the current autumn harvest was too busy and very tiring, otherwise, they wouldn't usually eat like this and don't have such food. After eating, everyone went to rest. Third sister-in-law held her stomach as she returned. Now that her month was getting bigger, the tableware and chopsticks were left for second sister-in-law to clean up. Eldest sister-in-law was also pregnant, so she also writes to rest. Although second sister-in-law curled her lips in displeasure, she said nothing. As the other two had done it when she was heavily pregnant previously. This was the rules of the old Zhou family and it had always been fair. Eldest sister-in-law and second sister-in-law didn't know what happened at home today. They all went on with what they should be doing. Third sister-in-law returned to the house and was greeted by the father's and daughter's question. Zhou Wu and I was six years old. At this age, children were already sensible and understood very well that brown sugar was so precious. How could her mother have it? Chapter 12. Need to buy it sooner or later. Fourth sister-in-law, given it. Third sister-in-law, explained. It was almost six o'clock at this time, but the sky was still bright. Now the sky can start to dim around half past six. So third sister-in-law took out the cloth and cotton. Zhou Qingxin understood then. Fourth's wife wanted to make clothes, isn't she able to make clothes by herself? How can she bear to give you two pounds of brown sugar for you to make it? She doesn't know how to make it for De Hua and the others. So naturally, it can only be brought to me to make it. Third sister-in-law's hands started moving as her mouth clarified. Toward her own skill, she was still very confident. She is using such a good cloth and cotton to make winter clothes for De Hua and others? Zhou Qing Sen was really surprised. In the end, she's their biological mother. And what's more, the brothers really don't have any cotton-padded clothes this year, continued third sister-in-law. Mother, when do I have new clothes to wear? Zhou Wu and I looked at the cloth and cotton with an envious face. She actually wanted to be fourth auntie's daughter, because fourth auntie's life was really good. De Hua and the others didn't need to pick up cow dung to earn work points or even collect weed ears in the field. Every day they got to play. Mother had looked for you. These cloths and cotton will have leftovers after I finished the brother's set. And mother still has some leftover cloth saved. When the time comes, add that bit, and I'll have enough to make you a new jacket. Third sister-in-law said. Then mother, hurry up, Zhou Wu and I excitedly cried. Then Zhou Qingxin remarked, you have such a big belly, she still makes you make clothes. It's cause she saw I got a big belly, otherwise why can she bear to give me two Gina brown sugar? It looks top quality. The last set I was asked to make it for De Hua and his brother is what the brothers are currently wearing for Autumn. She gave me three eggs then, said third sister-in-law. Mother Zhou didn't confiscate the two gene of brown sugar, instead, let her store it. So third sister-in-law was especially satisfied with this. Brown sugar was a scarce product. And it was two gene. Zhou Qingxin didn't say anything. 
His wife wasn't afraid of getting tired, instead, she was delighted. People in this era were keen on saving kerosene. After all, the supply was limited every month. So they went to bed early. It was only eight o'clock, and Mother Zhou and Father Zhou went to the Kong to sleep. Mother Zhou mentioned about today's affairs, Fourth's wife invited me to eat a bowl of egg and lean pork today. Since she gave it, eat it. Father Zhou was tired. He earned ten points and was very exhausted. Those fabrics and cotton are good conditions. I thought she was going to make it for herself. Didn't expect it as for De Wa and his three brothers, Mother Zhou, continued. Today, she didn't work, so she just heard the villagers said Fourth's wife went to the market again. Only then did she go to see the brothers. She heard that she came back with a big package. Two jean of cotton and fabric were really enough for a big package. She never expected it was bought for her three grandsons. She's the brother's mother. No matter how bad she can get, they all are meat that fell from her stomach. Father Zhou was sleepy but still responded. Although he had some opinions on the fourth daughter-in-law, there was nothing to complain, now that she was happy to make winter coats for his grandsons, and also make egg and lean pork kanji to eat. It's just she is too spendthrift. Fabric, cotton, egg, lean pork, and two jean of brown sugar. From her look, I think she is familiar with the black market. There's definitely not much left of the monthly allowance sent by fourth son. There is certainly not much money left. I told her to save a little money, and she found me nosy. Mother Zhou said. Father Zhou had already snore. It was clear he fell asleep. Mother Zhou said nothing and soon fell asleep. The rest of old Zhou family was in a similar state. As for Lin Qing, he sighed, she was tossing around, unable to sleep. It was too early to sleep at 8 o'clock. It was modern day her nightlife hadn't started yet. However, she entered the countryside, so she can only follow the custom. The two big ones in the next room were already sound asleep. As Zhou San Hua was still young, he slept with her. Before going to bed, Lin Qing, he warmed the bowl of leftover kanji from the dinner with boiling water and split it between the brothers. Of course, before going to bed, she gave them three baths. The three brothers washed and turned all the water black. Then she shooed them to go to Kong and sent them to sleep. Lin Qing, he also scrubbed herself in the dark. It wasn't good to be without a separate bathroom. Lying in bed, her mind wandered. Don't know when she fell asleep. In the middle of the night, according to the original owner's instinct, she got up and shut her three sons to pee so she can avoid them peeing on the Kong and she had to clean up. Because she slept too early last night, Lin Qing, he got up very early the next day. As soon as she saw the three boys were still asleep, she freshened herself first. Then she busied away in the kitchen. This morning she cooked millet porridge, but there was no meat, just plain rice porridge. Besides the millet porridge, there were two white buns. Thinking of the white bread, she recalled the 500 bun reservations with the breakfast shop's aunt. That really hurt. Soon the porridge was cooked, and the big white bun was also hot and fragrant. She shouted into the room. Zhou De Wa and Zhou Er Wa got up quickly dressed themselves, and then climbed off the Kong. Underneath was a tall and short set of wooden stumps, almost like the roll of a ladder, so the brothers could get up and down more conveniently. Lin Qing, he then went in, wake San Hua, washed the little boy's face, and then carried him out. Mother, there are big white buns. Zhou De Hua washed his face and ran over. His eyes brightened. Go brush your teeth. Lin Qing, he instructed. Mother, you didn't buy a toothbrush for me. Zhou De Wa pointed out. Lin Qing, he could only let him eat, and then she started thinking about when to make a trip out again. She had just visited yesterday, so to go over there today was a bit overboard. The most important part was what to do with the three children in the family. Going from the village to the town's supply and demand cooperative, was easier for her than the original owner, who spared no effort to run to the county town to buy cotton and fabric.
but still, it needed at least an hour to travel from here to the town supply and demand cooperatives. But if she didn't go, there were still many things to buy at home. In fact, according to the original owner's ideal living standard, the family's items were quite complete compared to other people's families. But in Lin Qing, He's view, there are still many things needed. The original owner had only taken care of herself. Toothbrushes, other hygiene essentials, the foot bath bucket, there was only her share. The children do not have any. They shared one wash basin. Now they were young, but it won't do when they grow up. Anyway, it was necessary sooner or later, so why not buy it early? Although she planned to go again, Lin Qing, he didn't go now. She decided to leave it a few days later. In a few days, the autumn harvest in the village will be completely over. Then, she can leave Erwa and Sanwa in the old Zhou's house to help her take care of them. As for Zhou de Wa, she didn't have to worry about it. He can go off and play by himself. In the morning, they ate millet porridge, accompanied by a delicious white bun. The stuffing in this bun was particularly sufficient. The meat, half of the egg, and cabbage were enough for them to eat as a dish with the porridge. Chapter 13 Siren like the mother and sons had filling breakfast. Zhou De Wa wanted to go out to play, but had been restrained back by Lin Qing, he, mother is going to do the laundry, you take care of your younger brothers at home. Wait for me to come back. Zhou De Wa did not refute her, as he was satisfied with the meal from yesterday to this morning. Lin Qing, he departed to do the laundry. There was a river on the tail of the village, which everyone goes there to wash. Shenzi, the autumn harvest will be over in a few days. Do you still need firewood at home? Lin Qing, he beat the clothes with a wooden board, especially with Zhou De Wa's clothes. It was really dirty. In her mind, she deeply yearned for the era of the washing machine, when a little girl came over and asked. As soon as Lin Qing, he looked back, it then emerged from her memory, little she, ah. I do, ah. We're almost out of firewood at home. When you go back and tell your elder brother that once the autumn harvest is over, send it over. How much he can get is how much I'll take. The price will be according to the amount. This little girl was called Zhou Shi, only about 10 years old. And her brother was Zhou Dong, 15 this year. The ancestors of the brother and sister were also relatives of the old Zhou family, but now they were distant. Their parents were gone early, and it wasn't easy for the siblings to survive. But her brother Zhou Dong was very capable, even if he was young. He followed the adults to work and could earn two work points. This wasn't a lot of food. In the end, the team pitted the brother and sister, so on the premise of obtaining everyone's consent, they gave a little more during food distribution and there were some neighbors occasionally reduce their intake. That's how the brothers and sisters survived. Initially, the brother and sister had nothing to do with the original owner, but the original owner was lazy. Her own son was still unreliable, so she asked her brother from her maternal family to send her firewood and occasionally gave him a little fee for the effort. However, her younger brother got married later on and was strictly managed by her younger sister-in-law, so he never came back. At that time, the original owner had to get the firewood by herself. How could the original owner willingly let her well-maintained hands do the rough work? If the conditions didn't allow it, she wouldn't wash the dishes, chopsticks, and clothes. But in desperation, she can only collect firewood once. In the original owner's impression, there was no work more insulting than this in the world. So, she set her eyes on Zhou Dong, who just turned 12 years old that year. She made him go get firewood for her to use, and they'll treat it as she bought it from him. How could Zhou Dong not be happy? He kept at it till now. To others, the original owner said that this was not capitalism. She felt that the brother and sister don't have it easy and didn't want them to feel like they owe her, so they did this. It wasn't like nobody in the village didn't know her temperament, but at least every time, the original owner paid an adequate amount to Zhou Dong. When he brought less, it was a dime. When it was more, it was two dimes. 
don't look down on these one and two dimes. To the siblings, Zhou Dong and Zhou Shi, who have no other income except for fieldwork, this money allowed them to eat three full meals on days when they can't earn much work points in winter. So even when the villagers knew that the original owner was hiring child labor, they said nothing. Zhou Dong was now 15 years old. The original owner gave him two dimes every time he sent firewood because he had grown up and gained a lot of manpower, so every time he sent a lot of firewood. This was an important income for the brother and sister. Hearing her words, Zhou Xi was really delighted and said, Okay, I will go back and tell my elder brother to collect a lot of firewood after the autumn harvest is over. Then she continued, Shenzi, there's no one at the moment, let me wash your clothes. The original owner had already asked her elder brother to get firewood. Although she wished Zhou she could wash her clothes, she still wanted face, so she refused. But if there was no one, then the original owner will let her wash. There was really no one in this moment. Downstream had some, but not here. If it was the original owner, she wouldn't be polite, I dot e except. The original owner thought she took care of them, brother and sister, so what if she called her to wash her clothes? But Lin Qing, he was not the original owner, and her lower limit did not stoop to that level. No need, it's just a few clothes. Once the autumn harvest is over, you go with your brother. Shenzi will have to store more firewood for the winter, so I need a lot. Lin Qing, he replied. Shenzi, rest assured. We will definitely send it to Shenzi. Zhou Xi nodded. Lin Qing, he nodded and said, You can return, I'm nearly finished. Zhou Xi saw that she really didn't plan to let her wash, so she went back first, and then reported to her brother who was going to work. I'll go after the autumn harvest. Zhou Dong uttered. Now that he can earn six points, his life should have been better, but in the end, he was at the age of puberty and ate a lot. Now Zhou Xi also followed to work, but she can only earn two work points. Lin Qing, he sneaked some soap out and washed. With the soap, it was much faster. She quickly washed her clothes and returned. As for second sister-in-law, who was washing clothes at the downstream, she did not go to say hello when she saw her. Because the relationship between the original owner and this second sister-in-law wasn't really good, Second sister-in-law brought eldest sister-in-law's eldest daughter Zhou de Nai, T slash N, means first slash big girl, and several women to wash a family of clothes at the downstream. Naturally, she saw Lin Qing, he go back, and she also did not have any intention to say hello. Few other women sourly commented, this sister-in-law of yours live a life more relaxed than the old landlord of the past. Don't talk nonsense like this, ah. What an old landlord, our ancestors, were three generations of poor peasants. Poor as a pauper. Second sister-in-law immediately interjected. Lin Qing, he was not very pleasing to the eye, but still, she can't let people put the old landlord hat on old Zhou family's head. I don't mean anything else. Just want to say, her life is going too well. She has three sons, and look at her face and figure. If someone says that she is unmarried and it is believable. Another older Sousy said. I heard that she put vanishing cream and clam oil on her face and hand every day. Said the former one. What a family wealth destroyer. No wonder she looks so tender that one can pinch out the water. Another bitterly responded. Which families weren't living on a tight budget? But old Joe family's fourth daughter-in-law was not at the same level as them. She always made herself beautiful. That face and that figure were like a siren. Of course, they didn't dare to scold her outright, otherwise, they would just look for trouble. Lin Qing, he wasn't one to suffer in silence, so they whispered behind her back. Second sister-in-law brought Zhou De and I to wash her clothes and went home. She didn't take the incident of seeing Lin Qing he seriously, it was a usual occurrence. As for Lin Qing, he, toward what was said about the original owner behind her, of course, it was no different to talking about her, she didn't treat it seriously as well. Actually, she was really satisfied with the original owner's maintenance of her figure and face. 
she can't deny this, nor can she get cheap and sell innocence. So they can say what they want, just don't mention it in front of her. When she was drying the clothes, Lin Qing, he recalled what she thought just now when talking to Zhou Shi about accumulating firewood for the winter. According to the development of the plot, it seems that the villain's dad was injured at this time. Chapter 14 Unresponsible mother, because of serious injuries, the villain's father remained at that side for a month to recuperate. Afterward, he came back. It'll be the end of October or almost November in the lunar calendar when the villain's father would return. Lin Qing, he felt that after the villain's father come back, she would definitely not be as free as she was now. After all, there was an adult living at home, and she couldn't be as unscrupulous as dealing with three children. So before the villain's dad comes back, she must acquire everything that should be added to the family. This era didn't have much to entertain themselves with. It was in the midst of the busy autumn harvest and the sun was still a bit merciless. The original owner's skin was very well maintained, so Lin Qing, he does not want to ruin it. In fact, in her opinion, it wasn't too white. Just not tanned. But compared with the people in the village, then she was really white. So in the following days, Lin Qing, he cooked at home. Because the original owner didn't interact with anyone, meaning she didn't have much communication. So it goes without saying, she could only make stuff for the children to eat at home. This made Zhou Dewa, Zhou Erwa, and Zhou Sanwa overjoyed. Under the last few days of Lin Qing, he's guidance, Zhou Sanwa began to speak. As soon as he spoke, words after words jumped out of him as if a vessel in his brain opened up. Like meat, pee, eat, water, and of course, the most said was, mother. The three children ate with a mouthful of oil. Although the original owner was lazy but knew that she did not interact with the people around her, so she must be self-sufficient. So there was a vegetable garden in the backyard with tomatoes, cucumbers, leeks, green vegetables, and radishes planted. Varieties are relatively mixed and not planted a lot. Each one was planted one row. So naturally, it was up to Lin Qinghe. Like scrambled eggs with leeks, stewed radish and bones, and fried pork slices and cucumbers. It was her choice. The three children at home did not understand these and Lin Qing, he also had her explanation. She said it was bought last time and been marinated with salt. Lin Qing, he also took out a piece of pork belly and a piece of loin and marinated it. She marinated it with salt and then fried it to eat. It was nice and salty. It could not be better when it was served with congee or noodles. Lin Qing, he kept feeding them this way, and in just a few days, Zhou Sanhua became white and delicate. Kids got chubby fast. Being nurtured like this by Lin Qing, he and kept clean every day, Mother Zhou froze when she saw Zhou Sanhua after coming over with the Sanhua's winter clothes that third sister-in-law finished first once the autumn harvest was over. Third sister-in-law's craftsmanship isn't bad at all. Lin Qing, he placed Zhou Sanhua in Mother Zhou's arms to let her appreciate it and took a look at a set of clothes in a small shallow basket. Third sister-in-law's skill was pretty good, and because she did it as soon as she was free, it took only a few days for her to make Sanhua's set. Of course, it was because of Sanhua's smallness, and it didn't take much effort. Zhou De Waz and Zhou Er was one should be coming soon. Now the autumn harvest was over, third sister-in-law, she didn't have much on her hand. She can go all out in making clothes as they didn't need her for house chores. She gave enough cotton, so even if third sister-in-law hid a bit, the cotton coat and trousers were still made very thick. For example, in this set, it was perfect for the little one to wear in winter. Even though it was a little small, it was just this one set. Oh, that's right, mother. There is no egg at home. Give me some food first, I will give money. Lin Qing, he declared. There were no chickens at home. So naturally, the eggs that aren't laid, was eaten quickly. She intends to take a few jean out of the space, but she must have a source for eggs. There is some at home. How much do you want? Mother Zhou glanced at her and said. 
just give me one jean. In two days, I'll have to go to the town for the market. I need to buy some stuff, so I'll get them together. Lin Ching, he said. You are going to the market again? Mother Zhou exclaimed. If I don't go, what do we eat? The three boys at home have a big appetite and it's getting colder and colder. At that time I don't want to head out. So buy what I need and the earlier it's done, the earlier it finishes. Mother, do you need to buy anything? If you do, I'll get it as well for you. Lin Ching, he said. I don't lack anything. Mother Zhou had a change of opinion about her since she had taken good care of her three grandsons, especially little San Hua, who got a lot chubbier. But once she heard her plan to spend thrift again, her heart ached. She had the mind to say something, but knew well that fourth daughter-in-law wouldn't listen to what she said. So she suppressed it. Lin Qing, he said two days. But in fact, the next day she fed Zhou San Hua early in the morning and carried him to Mother Zhou. Zhou Dewa and Zhou Er Hua also followed. The two actually wanted to go with their mother. Lin Qing, he found the one hour plus journey was too long. She found it troublesome and what's more to bring two small kids. She didn't want to. So they were brought to the old Zhou family. Of course, she also brought a small bag of rock candy and gave it to Mother Zhou to let her deal with it. It was still very early at this time. The rest of the old Zhou family hadn't gotten up yet, as they were very tired for a period and could finally be inactive and sleep in. Lin Qing, he didn't care. She dropped the children and went out carrying a basket. Every day, only know how to deplete money, don't she know to save a little money? The children are still so young. When they grow up, everything needed money? After she left, Mother Zhou grumbled. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law heard a voice and came out to ask what was going on. Mother Zhou didn't withhold her complaints. The two sister-in-law listened and remained silent, but they actually agreed with Mother Zhou. Fourth's wife really squandered away the money without a blink as if her money wasn't money. They wouldn't be able to do it. Each bit of money they spend, they got very distressed. After all, the three branches only get so much pocket money for the whole year. Because they haven't separated from the family yet, the majority of the money was kept by Mother Zhou. However, she does give them pocket money. Just one liang or so for them to save. But I see that fourth sister-in-law is putting more care toward Dewa and his brothers. Eldest sister-in-law said as she watched the brothers. At least she knew to bring San Hua over when going to the market. Before, she didn't. Just dumped them at home. Such a small child, to be so careless. Mother Zhou didn't comment. Third sister-in-law asked Zhou Dewa, Dewa, what did your mother cook for you? Third auntie can see that you brothers have grown a lot of meat in just a few days. Our mother made meat for us. Bacon is very fragrant. Zhou Dewa said aloud. Meat? Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law was stunned. How could there be meat now? Why are you two asking so much? In a few days, the team will divide the meat. At that time, your share won't be missing. Naturally, Mother Zhou thought she knew and interrupted. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law understood that their mother-in-law did not want them to ask any more and they tactfully not ask any more. This made Zhou Dewa, who was prepared to say what his mother had made for them these days, disappointed. However, hearing the kids outside calling him to play, he said nothing and immediately dashed out. Of course, he did not forget to ask his grandma for a piece of rock candy before going out. After the rest of the old Zhou family woke and saw Er Hua and San Hua were all here, it was only after they asked, did they know the brother's irresponsible mother went to the market again. Chapter 15 Long-Term Meat Coupons Although the food had been harvested now and the overall situation had stabilized, there was still some final work to be done. After breakfast, Mother Zhou brought the two boys with her to peel corn. The corn gets peeled, threshed, then dried, and then sent to complete the final payment to the state. The day that all grain got handed over was the day of food distribution, 
which was what everyone waiting for. Especially the pig killing after splitting the grain. Of course, winter wheat will be planted before the pork is divided. But these have nothing to do with Lin Qing He, so she left with no burden at all. Using her impression, she walked along the road toward the town's supply and demand cooperatives. Although the supply and demand cooperatives in the communal town cannot compare with those on the county city, it still had many things, such as rice, oil, soy sauce, and vinegar. But they all need ration coupons. The original owner bought them before. There were bottles at home and she washed it a few days earlier to contain the goods that were taken out of the space. So she didn't lack these seasoning. With a subsidiary food coupon, she came to buy half a jean of dried edible fungus, as well as half a jean dried seaweed. After browsing the things nearby, there was nothing she wants. In fact, the main reason for this trip was to come and walk around, otherwise, how can she explain the materials in my hand? But toothbrushes, wash basins, and basins had to be bought. First, get a toothbrush for de wa and air wa. There was still some toothpaste at home, their mother's leftover. She can use the stock in the space herself. She didn't plan to buy the wash basin and the basin this time. It was too hard for her to carry it back on such long distance. She had other plans. After buying a toothbrush and toothpaste, she headed to the slaughterhouse in the community suburbs according to her memory. The slaughterhouse on the outskirts of the community was a very small type, and the community applied for it last year. Otherwise, the slaughterhouse was only available in the county city. However, Lin Qing, he just wanted to come to the suburban area and try her luck. In fact, she also wanted to go through the motion. After all, she didn't think she could buy meat at this time. And what luck she had. She arrived there in an hour and happened to chance upon a Dajia who came out carrying the meat from inside. Lin Qing, he immediately stepped up and asked, Dajia, did you come to buy meat? Yeah, you too? But did you make a reservation? If you didn't make an appointment, then there's nothing. Dajie gave her a glance and pointed out haughtily. Lin Qing, he observed her blue work clothes and knew that this person knew people. She smiled and said, Dajie, I'm from the country, how could I have your kind of connection? Just don't know if sister can make it convenient? Looking around, she made sure no one was around and took a 5 Liang food coupon out. For those working in the commune who eat supplied food, food coupons were more important than money. Without food coupons, one cannot buy food even if one had money. This Dajia's age was already in her thirties, so she must have children at home. And at this age, the children are usually at the age with great appetite. Toward food coupons that weren't from dishonest sources delivered to their doorstep, how could she not refuse? They just have to do the matter well. Maisie, just say something if you need something. Dajia can help you for sure don't be polite. Even if it was just a five Liang food ticket, Dajia's tone also eased. I know, but I'm from the country. I can buy food without this food ticket. In a few days, there'll be food distribution. I just have to go to the production team to buy it. My man is a soldier. He can't finish these and send it to me. It's basically useless for me to keep. Lin Qing, he explained a bit. Then she went directly to the main point, the children at home are craving for meat. Truthfully, the team will divide the meat in a few days. But which mother is willing to see her child crave so much? So, I want to come and take a chance. When Dajia heard the words, she was relieved. As mothers, they really have their children on their minds. Dajia, I can see at a glance that you are a helpful Samaritan. Can you see if you have any acquaintances? I don't need much. Just half a gene of leftover is enough. I don't have a meat coupon, but I can give more. What do you think? Lin Qing, he stuffed the food coupon over as she talked. Big Maisie, you also dotes on kids. I will go in and check for you. This Dajia calmly accepted the food coupon and nodded. All right. Lin Qing, he nodded. Dajia went in for about five minutes before she came out and then announced, 
Big Maisie, since you don't have a coupon. It'll be 9.5 per gene. If you have a coupon, you can pay 7. Big Maisie, it'll be more expensive without a coupon. How much do you want to buy? Then dodge yeah, can you go in and get me half a jean? And on the way, if you see any big bones or something, please call the master to weigh some for me. Lin Ching, he said, and passed some money to Dajia. Then I will buy it for you. Said Dajia. Then she went in and bought the meat, and soon she carried out the meat for Lin Ching, he. Half jean of meat, the fatty kind. There were also ribs, big bones, and marrow bones. This age, only big fat meat was the most popular. Other ones with bones were very cheap. There are many, but they were, for Lin Ching He. Lin Ching, he didn't accept the change of half a yuan. Da Jia, at your age, nephew and niece must be growing up. Buy them more food and don't let them be hungry. Lin Ching, he said. Big Maisie, you are too polite. This Da Jia directly returned the half yuan to her. She had already gotten a food coupon from her, so she didn't want her money. Lin Ching, his mind moved and smiled, Da Jia, I feel kindred to you. My name is Lin Ching He, from Zhou Jia Village. My man is a soldier, the only soldier in Zhou Jia Village. You will know once you inquire. Seeing her announce her family status, Chen Mei returned a smile and introduced herself. She also had a good impression of Lin Ching He. The three boys at home are really greedy. Thankfully Mei Jia has a wide range of connection, otherwise, I don't know if I can buy some back this time. Lin Ching, he gratefully expressed. Maisie, you're so young, and you have three children? Sister Mei was surprised. I married at the age of 17 and gave birth at the age of 18. The oldest one is now five years old. After the new year, he should be counted as six years old. Lin Ching, he warmly smiled. I really can't tell, Mei Jia said. Mei Jia, you work in the community supply and demand cooperative. If I come again, can I find you? Lin Ching, he asked. Sure, if you need anything, you can go to me. I can definitely help you if I can help. However, this time a master in the slaughterhouse gave his share to you, otherwise it would not be so much. Unless you book in advance, and you have to come early. Mei Jia disclosed to her. These words weren't false. At this time, the meat was not easy to get, and there was a fixed quota. Lin Qing, he quickly agreed. She didn't expect this trip to be so smooth and found herself a long-term meat ticket. With Mei Jia, she had a source for the meat in her space. Lin Qing, he mentally calculated again. Truthfully, a lot of things were missing now. For example, she still needed a stove. In this era, there was a coal stove, which can be used to hold a small pot. In her space, she contained the two old-fashioned double-ear iron pots and the two old casserole pots she bought. It can also be used in this era, and say it was bought on the black market. Who would investigate so much? Because they are all old-style, very in line with the shape of this era, so she wasn't afraid of being investigated. Da Jia slash Jia, big sister, a way to address an older woman than you Maisie, younger sister, a way to address a younger than you chapter 16. Tighten your belt to live now there was only one stove in the house. All the water boiling, cooking rice, and frying dishes were done there. If there was another coal stove, it will be much more convenient. However, the coal stove was obviously not so easy to get what's more. On top of the coal stove, she also needed coal ball coupons. Only the talented in the city have these, and none in the countryside. If she wanted to get this, she had to go over and look around the county city. Besides the stove, was some kind of earthen pot. However, she can take it slowly. She should be able to raise the living conditions after Zhou Qing Bai returns. Realizing that's about it, she covered the basket with a cloth. As for what she bought, no one would know. Now she can pull anything out of the space. When she also arrived in the village, she took some pork out of the space. As for the fatty meat, she did not take it out, 
because it would be too eye-catching to take it out and decoct oil. Better wait until the village divided the meat. There were others like ribs, meat, eggs, etc. In short, she had to make the basket look full. However, all got covered by a cloth, so it was unknown what she bought. She went early in the morning. But the road was pretty long, so after going to and back, it was already past nine o'clock and nearly ten o'clock. She didn't pick up her three sons first. Mother Jo would certainly take good care of them. She filled up her egg jars with eggs and loaded the barrels with rice and flour again. Then she began to sort the meat. Two large pieces of pork belly were salted. As for lean meat and the likes, she planned to make meat congee for three children. They liked the meat congee she cooked a lot and was satisfied eating it. This made her content. She chopped the ribs by herself. As for the big bones, she will send it to Mother Jo later on as an expression of sincerity. After finishing this chore at home, Lin Ching, he looked at the time. It was still early and started to go to the vegetable garden in the backyard. After tending it for a while, she heard someone shouting. She went to open the door and check. It was Zhou Dong, who carried two bundles of dry firewood. That fast. I thought you'll go in two days. Lin Ching, he widened the door and let him bring it in, as she spoke. For peeling corn, let my sister and others do it. I'm not needed. Zhou Dong explained. He was only needed when it was time to plant winter wheat, and that had not yet begun. The two bundles of firewood were not small. Two bundles like these cost three dimes. Straight away, Lin Qing, he took out three dimes from her pocket and settled the bill. And also said, we're still short a lot at home. They were short a lot because she used more firewood than the original owner. And at the end of October, Zhou Qingbai should also come back and he had injuries. She dared not force him to go out get firewood like the original owner did, who wanted to vent her anger. That's right, in the novel, the original owner did this. And it was because of this villain's father gained a long-term illness, which was an endless cycle of pain. When he reached his fifties, his body was even worse. Shensi, rest assured, I can go to the mountains to pick up firewood before the snowfall. After the food distribution and my sister will be able to go with me. We will ship it back with a cart, that way we can transport more. Zhou Dong promised to her. Others didn't like Lin Shensi. But he and his sister actually have a very good impression of this Shensi, because the original owner was willing to give work to them. Having work means they'll have food to eat. In winter, they were unable to earn work points for a long time, so they have to live with a tightened belt. It was not easy in the past, but because of helping the original owner and the original owner gave money, he and sisters can only eat 20-30% full in winter. Otherwise, they would have been at most 10% full every day and drink water when hungry. They endured to survive. These are eggs that were cooked in the morning. I cooked too many. You take two back to eat. Lin Qing, he entered the house, grabbed two eggs, and handed him. No need Shensi. I ate already in the morning before going. Zhou Dong quickly refused, Shensi, I'll go back first. I can go again in the afternoon, and deliver it to Shensi in the evening. After that, he hurried away. Lin Qing, he paused for a moment, but did not say anything. At this time, the eggs were indeed quite expensive. Initially, she just wanted to find an opportunity for Zhou Dong to take a trip with her to the county city with a driving cart. At that time, she can bring back all the basin for foot wash and wash basin. That's why she gave the eggs, but judging from Zhou Dong's reaction, it appeared he didn't dare accept it. She'll have to wait for when he goes with her to the county city, then give them siblings some reward. As for the trip in the afternoon that Zhou Dong mentioned, then it was possible. From here, the distance to get firewood on the mountain wasn't close. According to Zhou Dong's foot pace, it'll take at least about three hours. To bring two bundles of firewood back at this time, he must have gone out in the morning when it was still dark. However, she also knew that Zhou Dong was not alone. 
He went with several 17 or 18 year olds in the village, so there was nothing to worry about. At this time, everyone else also prepared firewood for the winter. The firewood collected by Zhou Dong was sold to her. Others in the village sold theirs in the county city. Generally, it got sold out, but Zhou Dong had it a lot easier. So Zhou Dong can go back to eat now, head out again, and can return before dark. As for the rural people themselves, there was no shortage of firewood. The straw and likes can be distributed a lot, but her family had no share. As long as she prepared it, they can survive the winter. Lin Qing, he understood these matters pretty well, and obviously, Zhou Dong also cherishes such opportunities, as he worked very hard. Rather than living with a tight belt over the winter, Zhou Dong preferred to find more firewood now. Lin Qing, he felt less guilty for hiring a child. So she ordered, with more and more ease. Exactly the same as the original owner's way. Two bundles of firewood were carried into the fire shed in the backyard. This fire shed was built when Zhou Qing Bai came back. It was specifically used to accumulate firewood to avoid rain, snow, and get wasted from moisture. Then she continued to water the vegetable garden, tidied it and picked the cucumbers for lunch. A plate of fried cucumber and meat was enough for the mother and sons. There were a few eggs left over from boiling in the kanji in the morning. There was still a lot of kanji left from the morning. She had deliberately cooked more, so she can reheat and eat. After taking out two white buns, that should be about it. As for the evening, Lin Qing, he already had an idea. Dumplings for dinner, and she will make dough after lunch. At 11 o'clock, Zhou De Wa returned. He came back to see if his mother got back. One look and he found she did return. Your grandma and others are still peeling corn over at the production team? Lin Qing, he asked. N. Zhou De Wa nodded, then looked at the stove, Mother, what good stuff did you buy back today? Is there a big white bun? Yes. Go bring your younger brothers back. But don't outside no, or you get nothing, Lin Qing, he ordered. Can't talk about meat outside? Zhou Dewa couldn't help say. But he had been chattering about it with his friends, and they envied him a lot. It's fine if you said it before, but don't talk about it in the future. Understand being low-key? Lin Qing, he said. What is low-key? Zhou De Wa questioned. If you like to boast, then boast away. Quickly bring your brother back and prepare to eat lunch. Lin Qing, he sent out. I will go now. Zhou Dawa immediately responded. Chapter 17 Private Little Treasury It was eldest sister-in-law's second daughter, Zhou Er and I, who brought Zhou San Hua back. Zhou De Wa and Zhou Er Hua was also there. Take this big bone back, another dish, for your grandpa and grandma. Lin Qing, he didn't care what old Zhou family would think of her, gave a big bone to Zhou Er and I and sent her off. Just one morning, you're already a dirty cat. Lin Qing, he drew water and washed Er Hua's and San Hua's face. Then she washed De Hua. De Hua asked, Mother, how many big white buns did you buy? How many do you want? Lin Qing, he questioned. Of course, one per person, De Wai answered. You wish. Lin Qing, he harumphed, I only bought two and can give you each half of one. Half per person was also excellent. After cleaning up the three of them, Lin Qing, he began to heat up the kanji. Sure enough, it was troublesome to not have gas. Lin Qing he, who had been accustomed to modern life, tried her best to adapt. In fact, she had already adapted well, but she was still feeling a bit lazy. Lunch was kanji, with fried cucumber and meat, boiled eggs, and most importantly, two large white buns. There wasn't much porridge. Just one bowl per person. But with these dishes and two large white buns, both mother and children are satisfied. Especially De Wa and Er Wa, their love for white bun was unswerving. Mother, what else did you buy back? Asked Zhou Erwa. Nothing much. Lin Qing, he replied while picking up the chopsticks. 
Speaking of this, the supply and demand cooperative in the town were quite lacking. According to the memory of the original owner, the county city's supply and demand cooperative have a larger range of varieties. This time she wanted to order some red date, shrimp skin, or something, but there was nothing. However, in the county's supply and demand cooperatives have all these. As for the original owner, she always kept an eye out for good quality fabric, and toward these, she wasn't interested. She wasn't interested, but Lin Ching, he was. The kids were currently in a growing age. And the shrimp skin was great for supplementing calcium. She also wants to buy some red dates, which can be added to stewing chicken. And other mushrooms. This time she bought half gene of fungus and kelp. Once Zhou Qing by returns, then it won't be enough for him to eat, so she had to go to the county city and shop around. After planning to bring Zhou Dong with her tomorrow to transport supplies back, she took three sons to prepare for a nap. Can't help it, there was nothing to do other than sleeping. Thinking how the days were getting colder and colder each day, Lin Qing, he inspected her space as she waited for the three boys to sleep. She had prepared two seven-jean large quilts, especially warm ones. Even if the color was low-key, it was full of modern elements. Which was not in line with this era. She was missing a big quilt cover. So she had to go to the county city to buy one. When the time comes, she'll stuff the quilt and cover. And Zhou Qingbai couldn't say anything about her. She can say that she got it by her own ability. In addition to the quilt, was a mattress. This mattress can be taken out. It's old-styled and not patterned at all. The key feature was warmth. She had it all planned out. The quilt and the mattress were to be used by herself. When winter here, the three sons will sleep with her. As for the villain's father, he can sleep in the neighboring room, aka, the son's room. Anyway, there was an old quilt, so can't freeze him. Zhou Qing Bai Lin Qing, he, who looked at the space supplies, fell into the dream world with her three sons. Once the old Zhou family came back, they found out that Lin Qing, he had given them a big bone. Although there wasn't much meat, anything that produces oily substance was a good thing at this age. So who can dislike it? In particular, this was sent over by Lin Qing, he threw Zhou Er and I. This big bone was chopped and then used to stew pickled vegetables. It tasted very fragrant to the old Zhou family, who had not eaten oil for a long time. After eating, they dispersed. When Mother Zhou returned to the room, she asked Father Zhou, Old man, what's the matter with Fourth's wife? What matter? Father Zhou actually didn't understand her, and he didn't like to think about these things. What else could it be? She used to wish to stay as far away as possible from our old Joe's house. As if she's afraid we might take advantage of her. Now she sends Erwa and Sanwa over when she's going to the town and this big bone too. Mother Joe pointed out. Father Joe didn't have such deep thought. In his opinion, it's enough to change for the better. Why care so much? What's more important now was to quickly hand over the public rations and then prepare for the winter wheat cultivation after the food distribution. These are important matters. In fact, it wasn't only Mother Zhou who was puzzled, the other three sisters-in-law as well. Second sister-in-law mumbled to Zhou Qing Lin, what does fourth's wife mean? It can't be that she wants a share of our family's meat. Zhou Qing Lin didn't care, she already separated from us. How can we give her a share of our family's meat? There were so many people in the family. She did separate, but Dewa and his brothers are fathers and mothers' grandsons. Second sister-in-law felt that she had seen through Lin Qinghe's plan. Why think so much? She's so proud, and fourth has sent so many allowances every month. If she wants to eat meat, she can buy it from the production team. No need to take our families. I guess she has a way to get meat, otherwise, she can't bear to give us a big bone. Zhou Qing Lin said. Second sister-in-law couldn't conceal the acidity in her tone, did you not see? De Hua and his brothers have grown a lot in this period, especially San Hua. His face is so chubby? 
she had two girls and a son, who was only three years old this year, and they're skinny as a stick. Initially in the past, he was the same age as Erwa and despite being younger than Erwa, he was not as thin as Erwa. But after not seeing him for a short while, Erwa became sturdier. Don't think about it anymore. I guess the money in her pocket may be less than ours. Zhou Ching Lin said. This sentence scratched second sister-in-law's itch. Second sister-in-law believed that she was very family-oriented. Even if she had no income at home, she somehow saved more than 10 yuan. This was definitely a huge sum of money. But looking back on fourth's wife. So what if fourth brother-in-law sends back allowance every month? With a wife like fourth's, who didn't how to manage a family, no matter how much the allowance was, it will be wasted. For example, third sister-in-law was now helping her make her son's winter clothes. It was said that the three brothers were getting complete new sets, and the cotton and cloth were all good. This was really squandering away the family wealth. She dared to bet that Lin Qing, his wallet might not be as big as hers. I don't know how much pocket money mother will give to our family this year. After second sister-in-law comforted herself, she was in a good mood. As a mother-in-law, Mother Zhou was actually one of the best in the village. Apart from being biased toward Zhou Qing Bai, the young son, and not counting Lin Qing, he who moved out, she was fair to the three families. And she wasn't that stingy. For example, when distributing money at the end of the year, she will give them one or two yuan of pocket money. Whether they save it themselves or give it to the relatives on New Year's maternal family visitation, aka the second day of New Year, it was up to them in the end. The daughter-in-law of the same age in the village didn't have the same treatment as the old Zhou family's daughter-in-law. Those mothers-in-law kept everything in control. So how can there be any private little treasury? In contrast, her life was still very good. Chapter 18 Little Saving at Home in the Neighboring Room, eldest sister-in-law also talked about the big bone Lin Qing he sent today. Although she didn't have the same thought as second sister-in-law, she did have a confused face. Therefore, Zhou Qing Mu expressed that fourth's wife became sensible. Eldest sister-in-law gave him an eye roll. Previously when fourth's wife was causing a scene, her man also said that she was too young and not sensible yet. But after that, she was already the mother of three children. When did she ever act sensibly? Now sensible? Who would believe it? This is splurging too much. I heard Tao Zi's mother said she saw her carrying a basket full of things back. Eldest sister-in-law said. Just don't know what it was, with a cloth covering it. But if she was willing to give out a big bone, then she must have bought a lot. Zhou Qing Mu also agreed on this point. How can you splurge so much to live well? And the three brothers, one was five years old in a blink of an eye and will be six years old after the new year. When kids grow up, what didn't need money? Truthfully speaking, Zhou Qing Mu was also a little envious, because he only had one son. The first three were daughters, so the pressure is relatively small. But he would rather be more stressful. I don't know if this is a son. Zhou Qing Mu touched eldest sister-in-law's recently showing tummy and spoke. Eldest sister-in-law's attention was attracted, commented, every time Da Hua sees third's wife's belly, he calls out little brother. I also don't know if this is the son or not. She wasn't really worried, because no matter what, she still had one son. Of course, it was better if this was a son. If it wasn't, it didn't matter. Third sister-in-law was currently making clothes for Da Hua and Er Hua. Now that the harvest business was over, she didn't need to do any work at home, so she can make clothes all day long, and the speed will naturally be faster. The one in her hands was Er Wa's, and it was half done. In a few days, De Wa's will be finished, then she can make a jacket for her daughter. Although the old Zhou family each had their own thoughts, the days were still very harmonious. When third sister-in-law yawned to go to rest, Lin Qing, he had already awakened. Tonight she decided to eat dumplings, so she started making the dough. She had already chopped up all the ribs and put them in the space. 
The day wasn't so cold, so except for the pork belly sprinkled with salt, the fresh meat and ribs were not durable. To have a space, which was comparable to the refrigerator, at this moment was great. When Lin Qing, he was busy in the kitchen, the brothers woke up one after another. When they learned that they were having dumplings for dinner, they were overjoyed. Zhou Dewa went directly went off to show off. Zhou Erhua also went out to play, and Sanhua stayed at home with Lin Qing, he. As far as Lin Qing, he was concerned, as long as the eldest two didn't go overboard, she won't restrain them. They were boys, so no need to raise them through restraining. And the most important thing was that winter will soon arrive. At that time, there's not much to play. She planned to get Zhou Dewa to study then. Wait until next year, she'll send him to elementary school. Elementary school was a five-year model, while junior high school and high school were two-year systems. Six years old was not too young and it was not bad to go to school. It was better than petting cats and teasing dogs at home. Zhou Dewa, who didn't know his free-spirited days were diminishing, was having fun outside, and Zhou Er Hua was running behind him like a tail. Don't know what they played outside, but they always end up dirty when they return. Lin Qing, he saw the dough was mostly done and after sweeping one glance to the brothers, she sent them to wash their hands and face. There was a well in the house, which was very costly. In the whole village, there was a maximum of five households who can have a well in their own yard and she was one of them. Of course, it was usually covered to prevent the brothers from messing around. It took a lot of money to dig this well. As the original owner relied on Zhou Qing Bai's money that was sent back every month, she didn't mind and simply hired people to dig the well. While second sister-in-law was complacent. She thought that the original owner's net saving did not necessarily add up to her. However, she underestimated Zhou Qing Bai's ability. In the early years, Zhou Qing Bai did only send back a minimum of 20 yuan per month, usually 23 or 24 yuan. When more, it was 25 or 26 yuan. Basically, he sent it all back. He didn't need to spend any money over there and had no place to spend, so he sent as much as he could. Same with the coupons. However later in the last two years, the money sent back by Zhou Qingbai can reach above 30 yuan a month. Usually, around 35 or 6. Even if the original owner splurge extravagantly, but in this era, even having money didn't allow one to go around the world. Although the boys were still a kid, their intake wasn't big enough to eat his old man to poverty, especially the original owner setting the limit for them at not starving to death. So how much can she spend? The majority of the expense at home was due to her own use. Vanishing cream, new dresses, new cotton coats, scarves, scarves, socks, and shoes. She had all of these. Because she was just spending on herself, the original owner can still save a little. Although she had spent a lot to her, Lin Qing, he found out she saved more than 200 yuans, nearly $300 after counting the family's wealth. In the age when the money was spent one cent at a time, 300 yuans was undoubtedly a huge sum of money. It's just that the image of the original owner frittering away the money was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Everyone unanimously believed that she didn't have much savings at all. Of course, an old lady in the village had told her to save and only spend on necessity in the past. At that time, the original owner casually replied, this is not enough for me to spend, so how can I save? These words were still being spread in the village until now. Seeing her put on vanishing cream and wear a new dress and leather shoes, all the villagers dare not to buy or even ask the price of these high-end products. They don't doubt the authenticity of her words. Mother. What kind of stuffing is in the dumpling? Zhou Dewa said while washing up. Lin Qing, he replied, pork dumplings. I like mother's dumplings, so no matter what stuffing, I like to eat, said Zhou Er Hua. Er Hua was used to pleasing. Lin Qing, he also gave him face and directed smiling eyes at him. Er Hua grinned. Mother, do you want me to help you? Zhou Dewa asked, his eyes brightened with the desire to be hands-on. 
I will definitely have you to do it in the future. I don't intend to spoil you into a young master who didn't touch the spring, clean, water. But for now, no need. All of them were like they came out of the mud. Their nail all got dirt. Although she had washed them, they can return the original state within one day. Don't intervene, just go stay at one side. Lin Ching, he batted away his hand. Zhou Dewa said, Mother, you dislike me. Me disliking you wasn't a day or two matter. Why didn't I see you mention it before? That's right, our family is going to raise chickens. Do you have anything to say? Lin Ching, he proposed. Raise chicks? Er Wa parroted with bright eyes. N. Lin Ching, he nodded, Zhou De Wa, take your brother's hand away. Don't let him feed it to his mouth. She gave San Wa a little dough and told him to play there. Chapter 19 Number 1 Wealth Dissipating Woman Zhou De Wa took down his brother's hand and pointed out, Mother, there's no chick now. There's none? Er Wa couldn't help be disappointed. I know that there are no chicks now. I plan to raise them next spring. At that time, we'll definitely have them and I just need to buy them from the villagers. If we want to raise chickens in the future, then what the chicks eat will be a problem, Lin Qing, he said. The house was very empty, especially the vegetable gardens in the backyard, which was mostly stocks. It was a pity not to raise chickens. However, the original owner loved cleanliness more than her. She was set on not raising them because she didn't like the smell. But if it was cleaned up well, the smell won't be so exaggerated. And the backyard was still some distance away from the house. When Zhou Qingbai comes back, she'll ask him to build a chicken coop. If there are chickens at home, will there be chickens to eat in the future? Zhou De Wa's eyes shone. Chickens need to lay eggs. Zhou Er Wa said immediately. How can the eggs be laid after eating the chicken? Chicken is very delicious. Zhou De Wa retorted. After being told this by his brother, Zhou Er Wa instantly drooled and looked at his mother. Although the kid didn't speak, Lin Qing, he could see the meaning in his eyes, Mother, I haven't eaten chicken yet. Wait and see which day I can find any chickens to buy. Lin Qing, he could only say. Mother, you're so great. Er Wa immediately came to hug her leg and said softly. Although he will become the villain's leading strategist for three brothers in the future, he was still a small bun right now. After being so spoiled by Lin Qing, he, for a few days, he threw the coldness of the former owner out of his mind and was extremely close to her. Who knew that Zhou Er Wa even proposed his desire to sleep with her along with San Hua last night. Before he dared not mention it to the original owner. Children were very discerning, who treated him well and who didn't, they know in their mind. Knowing that Lin Qing, he was kind to them, he dared to make a request. However, Lin Qing, he did not agree and let the two of them continue to sleep on their own. Next year, when raising chickens, you guys are responsible for feeding. Lin Qing, he said. I'll go catch bugs from the garden and feed the chicks. Erwa responded immediately. Then I go out to dig the earthworms and bring back to feed. Zhou Dewa followed up. Eat, eat chicken. Sanwa looked at his eldest brother and then his second eldest brother and jumped in. Erwa went over to educate him that the chick had to be raised for laying eggs and could not be eaten. The family had dinner before five o'clock. The pork dumplings were very fragrant. However, the three brothers were still too young to eat much, so a bowl was left over. And it was at that time, Zhou Dong carried today's second load of firewood over. Lin Qing, he brought it out to him and said, Little Dong, take this bowl of dumplings, back to eat. Shensi has something to discuss with you. Zhou Dong shook his head and said, Shensi, if you have a matter, I will do it for you. But you can leave the dumplings, for De Wa and his brothers. Brother Zhou Dong, we have all eaten it. Zhou De Wa spoke unrestrainedly. It was obvious that Zhou Er Wa didn't want his mother to give away such delicious dumplings, but he remained silent. You hear, they have eaten. 
If you don't accept this bowl of dumplings, Shensi won't be able to speak. Lin Ching, he said. Zhou Dong hesitated a bit when he heard this. Then he took it and said, Shensi, tell me. It's like this. Shensi intends to go to the county town. There are a lot of things to buy this time. At that time, Shensi can't bring it back by myself. Do you think you can go with Shensi the day after tomorrow? explained Lin Qinghe. There was a trailer in Zhou Dong's house, which can transport what she wants. This time may be the last time for her to go to the county town this year. There was no way since it was too far. Three or four hours. Just going to and back and the day was already over. The most important part was how exhausting it was ah. Okay, I will come the day after tomorrow. What time, Shensi? Zhou Dong listened and agreed. There was nothing to do the day after tomorrow, because the day after tomorrow was handing over the public ration. He wasn't needed then. The day after that day was the day when the food gets distributed, so it didn't delay anything. Five o'clock. Lin Qing, he stated. Departing at five o'clock for the county city, and it'll open at nine o'clock. Zhou Dong nodded, looked at the bowl of dumplings. He still wanted to return it, Lin Qing, he declared, take it back to eat, otherwise, I dare not call you. She also paid the three dimes to Zhou Dong for the evening's bundles of firewood, then let him go back. Not long after Zhou Dong went back, Zhou Xi returned the washed bowl. She asked Lin Qing he whether she would use her to take care of the brothers the day after tomorrow. The original owner used to call her, and the little girl was quite reliable. However, Lin Qing, he didn't plan to, and replied, no need. The day after tomorrow, I will call their grandma to take care of them. Zhou Xi returned. As for Lin Qing, he telling Zhou Dong to go to the county town with her, which delay him to find firewood to make money, there was no problem. Because Lin Qing, his bowl of pork dumplings, was worth five dimes if eaten in a restaurant in the county city or town and that needed a food coupon, otherwise, you can't buy it even if you have money. So they didn't suffer a loss with this bowl of dumplings. The villagers also saw Zhou Dong take back a bowl of dumplings from there, and curiously asked. There was no reason to hide and explained that Lin Shenzi need his help for something and gave him this. And the something, he was asked to accompany her to the county city the day after tomorrow. As for why Lin Qing he take Zhou Dong to the county city, the people in that village didn't need to ask. They knew that there is a lot of things to buy, and since she couldn't carry it back, she found someone to lift the goods. But this bowl of pork dumplings was also worth it, ah. They smelled its fragrant. Zhou Dong was not stupid. He went directly home, devoured it with his sister, and had the dish washed to be sent back. Although there was only one bowl of dumplings, it was enough as there were flour and pork, so the brother and sister did not plan to cook any more tonight. Soon it was food distribution, people who were short on food supply can get paid in advance first. And it'll be deducted later when the food was being distributed, so every family won't starve for the time being. However, they have to pass the winter afterward, so they can't casually eat. In particular, for a household like Zhou Dong and Zhou Xi. If they don't tighten their belts to live their lives, there will be sudden shortages all year long. However, this year, Lin Qing, he needed much more firewood than last year, which was also a very good income for them. For example, today, the four bundles of firewood, they made six dimes. The village was only so big, so the news of Lin Qing, he calling Zhou Dong to go to the county city soon spread to Mother Zhou's ears. Mother Zhou was so angry that she was one step away from grasping her chest, I thought she really wanted to change for better. Still the same old. She just went to town today and brought back a basket of supplies and want to go to the county city the day after tomorrow. It was only a few days since she last went to the county city. Is there such a waste of money? Eldest, second and third sister-in-law all had unsurprised expressions. Everyone in the village had different opinions, but their key point was relatively uniform. 
They all criticized how Lin Qing, he didn't know how to live a life and was extremely family ruining. She was simply the number one wealth dissipating woman in their entire production team who didn't know how to live life. Chapter 20 Pan fried sweet potato cake, no matter what the villagers said, Lin Qing, he and her three sons were having sweet dreams. Early the next morning, Lin Qing, he came back after washing clothes and cooked millet porridge. Now she gave them a bath every three days, but the feet were washed every day. She fried with salted pork belly for the three brothers. The salted pork belly didn't need any more seasoning. Just cooked like that in oil, it became very fragrant. With the remaining oil in the pan, she hatched an egg in it for each brother. Breakfast was that simple, but the three brothers were satisfied. Mother, people outside say that you don't know how to live. Joe Dewa blurted out as he gobbled the fragrant sunny side up. He heard it while playing outside. Lin Qing, he saw Er Wa nod as well, expressing that he had heard it too. She raised her eyebrows, do you think mother doesn't know how to live? No. Zhou Dewa answered. Mother, this is how to live life, Zhou Erwa replied as well. Yummy. The gluttonous Sanwa added. Let them say what they want to say. Your mother, I, didn't spend their money. My man can make money for me, why can't I spend it? And I still have three sons to raise. Don't I need to nurture you into a white and chubby? If I don't spend money, what am I going to use to take care of you little greedy ones? Lin Qing, he said. Zhou De Hua grinned and Zhou Er Hua laughed in embarrassment. As for Zhou San Hua, he already opened wide his mouth waiting for his mother to feed him. Quickly eat. After you finish, go with your grandma to sundry the corn. In the afternoon, let your grandma come over to eat at home. Lin Qing, he ordered. Do mother need something from grandma? Zhou Dewa asked. There is. Lin Qing, he replied. All right, then. Zhou Dewa agreed. After breakfast, he slipped out to play. Lin Qing, he finished feeding San Hua and let him play with Er Hua at the entrance while she ate herself. After finishing, she tidied up the bowls and chopsticks and then began to clean the room. Her only dissatisfaction with the original owner was that she was too capable and too realistic. And for the other traits, Lin Qing, he still approved. For example, the original owner would make her home clean and have everything organized. Nothing out of place. Lin Qing, he was satisfied with this point. After cleaning the house, Lin Qing, he began to take out the original owner's clothes and hung them under the sun. The original owner's clothes were excellent. There were several sets in the closet, all of which are very good condition. No patch at all. Toward this, the original owner was still not very satisfied. In Lin Qing, he's words, how could last year's clothes match up to this year's her? So this year, the original owner also wanted to make new clothes. As for the three sons, she just made do with whatever. In fact, the original owner had a lot of clothes, but she took them back to her mother's house to give her sisters-in-law. Basically, she sent back one or two sets. But even like this, she still had several sets of clothes in her closet. Among them, three sets were summer. The one on her, the one chilling out outside and one set in the closet was for autumn. Three sets of autumn clothes in total. There were two cotton clothes. One set was from two years back and one set was from last year. This year, she wanted to make another set as the previous year one was to be sent to her family. As well as the cloths and cotton were specially obtained for her mother's family. Speaking of this, old Lin family was not losing out for raising this girl. But now? Sorry, she was here. Let's focus on her sons first, as for the others, she didn't have much ability to take care. What she spent now was still the hard-earned money earned by Zhou Qing Bai. Since she took all these clothes out to sundry, then it goes without saying she took out her son's clothes and let them bathe under the sun as well. The three sons didn't have many clothes. 
One set of autumn clothes was the ones they wore now and another one was the ones that were just washed. And that was it. There was also a set in the cupboard, which Joe de Wa wore last winter. As for Erwa and Sanwa, they had none. The two brothers had basically spent last winter on the Kong. It was like this and was still scorned. However, because of the lack of firewood, it was impossible to heat two Kong. In the end, she could only let them come over to her Kong. And because of wetting the Kong, they got beaten more than once by the original owner. It won't happen this year. The brothers each get a new set, but still, need to prepare one or two more warm inner clothes and trousers. Also summer wear. They were broken into unrecognizable bits. She didn't plan to continue to let them wear them, so straight out make new ones. Moreover, in the black market, a bolt of good quality cotton cloth was three dimes at the moment. And that was on the premise that no coupons are needed. To her, it seems cheap. A bolt of fabric was enough to make many sets of clothes. Lin Ching, he planned to go to the black market tomorrow. After finishing the chores at home, she watched Air Wa and San Wa playing sand at the door a bit. She went back to the house to start the preparation. Taking the pen and paper from the space, she jotted down what she will buy tomorrow. Shrimp skin, red dates, coal, coal stove, foot wash basin and basin. And also two more enamels for drinking water. There was one at home at the moment. The two new ones are brought back to drink water, while the old one for brushing teeth. There was no need to buy a thermos flask. Zhou Qingbai had brought one back. It was very convenient to use. Because there was only one of them, the original owner was reluctant to give it to her maternal family. Thank God this one left here. Although it wasn't adequate for winter, it was still barely sufficient to use she did not plan to buy one, as this thing was very difficult to buy. Then there was malted milk powder. She planned to buy a can of malted milk powder for the three brothers to drink. Oh right, and the white rabbit candy. White rabbit candy was a notoriously good thing in this era. More or less, it was equivalent to a glass of milk. But the price seemed to be more expensive, but that didn't matter. If she remembered correctly, this time when the villain's father return, he'll bring a large sum of money back. So no need to care too much. In addition to these, there were mushrooms. There were no mushrooms in the town's supply and demand cooperative, just half gene of dried edible fungus and dried seaweed. Both she planned to buy more in the county city. In winter, there weren't many foods that can satisfy oil craving. And if pumpkins can be found, she must buy more. After a lot of things were written, she double-checked it. When she felt a shortage, she added more and that was about it. After this shopping trip, she didn't plan to go to the county city anymore this year. It was so far away that she already dreading it by the thought. There was no way this time. There were so many things to buy back for passing winter. Stop after once. Lin Qing, he finished her mental construction, and it was only about eight o'clock. What should she do next to pass the time? Visit old Joe's house? Check out third sister-in-law's progress on the clothes? Forget it. She better not go over and didn't scare other people. Tn, xd, if she didn't perform well, she could ruin the cloth she gave. Turning her mind over, there was really nothing to do. She grabbed a bowl, added rock sugar in, and pour boiling water into it. And like that, she let the small bowl of sugar water cool. She took out the sweet potato and began to peel it. Then, cut it into strips. Altogether two sweet potatoes were cut up. The sweet potato was still the latest produce. She placed the sweet potatoes in the large bowl and add flour. Seeing the sugar water was about done, she added a little less than half of it in. Lin Ching, he actually wanted to lament a bit. If she knew early, she won't buy just rock sugar. She should have bought some white sugar. Ah, forget it. Let's take a look at the county city. The sweet potato was covered in flour and fried in a pan. Lin Ching, he wasn't reluctant to use oil, after all, 
it was rare to make a snack for her three sons. The fried sweet potato was extremely fragrant, and soon the sweet fragrance spread out and Erwa and Sanwa, who were playing at the entrance, soon smelled it. Mother, what are you making? Erwa swallowed his saliva. Pan-fried sweet potato cake. Go find if your big brother is around. If he is, tell him to come back to eat. Never mind if not, Lin Ching, he answered. Can support us, completed novel house, in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.